Did I stay up playing Rock A? I don't, I don't think the Epic Launcher tells you the last time I played a game, but I didn't even get to play Rock A yesterday. I, I finished collab. I eated food. Nim set up my emulator, and and then I did some voice lines after I was no longer gunked up by food, and then I went to bed. Hearing the EP voice is almost weird without having Pokemon in the background. Oh no! <laughs> and she died after that. I did die. Nice job waiting after a meal to record. Yeah, you have to, otherwise it makes your voice all weird. You gotta wait, you gotta wait. Wake up, Fox woman! <laughs> I'm dying. I was dead asleep, dude. I was dead asleep. I don't like I must have kind of woken up at some point because I shut off my alarm. My alarm for stream went off and I must have just fucking shut it off and died again. I'm glad I'm glad Nim was awake on time Where'd so that he Where'd could wake my oh, ass up. Oh, oh, oh. So thank you, Nim. <laughs> I remembered the ping. <laughs> Fucking, if I snoozed that shit, it would have went back off, but it didn't. <sighs> oh god, gamer subs wake me up faster. <laughs> the kittens took care of turning off the alarm. I had three cats sleeping on top of me when I woke up, so. <laughs> I'm now a mix of Tenma and Tea Man. Oh god, I'm Tenma made of tea. 2009 was a better time. That's true. Good morning, Sleepy Fox. Be honest, how many dreams did I have of waking up to an angry Twitter mob breaking down your door after the clips from last night's collab hit the masses? When the words good pedophilia hit my ears, I was just like, Stunlocked man. <laughs> Your mom lets you have three whole cats. <laughs> Stop making you laugh. Your sides hurt. Oh god, that's definitely not gonna get clipped and taken seriously by someone. Holy shit. <laughs> Null saw the cl He already saw the cl Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Not like this. I told her to dig up, man! I told her to get out of the backhoe! <laughs> I can't believe Deer Feeder hates anime women. I saw, yeah, Pippa sent me the super chat that Sakuna sent to. Oh god. Wait a minute, hold I on. Was... I have a tab for that. I have a tab about <laughs> gay duck necrophilia and sex. Uh have Sonnet Man. Today. Sonnet Man, thank you for the thirty dollar doodles. Thank you, thank you. I hope I will have a fun stream. I hope you have a fun stream. Say super yab stuff, get bonus live on stream. <laughs> I'm a bad inf- Excuse me, Agorist! Excuse me, I'm not a bad influence! I didn't make Pippa say good pedophilia! I had nothing to do with that one, okay? You can't blame me! <laughs> Pippa wrangling failed, oh my god. Sakuna fired Kirsha even though she doesn't work for him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they don't influence each other, they resonate. That's true. <laughs> That's true, man. <laughs> it's all 
my fault. I ruined her say so reputation. Oh my god. Pinned in Kapipi cord, Iatemu, with an opinion that fucking awful. I can only assume she's being serious. Why did that get pinned? <laughs> Oh my god, we saw you groom Pip alive! I was 13! <laughs> Kirsha doing her job as a phase illegal immigrant? Oh my god. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Oh fuck, Pippa's filter gets a debuff around the spicy cat. We get, we get, we get way too comfortable. <laughs> oh my god. Benoy. I'll have to, I'll have to get Benoy a better, a better dig up mechanic. <laughs> And Bailey, you you are super cute and lovely. Oh my god. Shmorsha. I'm a shmor. I'm made with marshmallow and chocolate. You made me something very special. Does it have to do with good pedophilia? Does... You guys said Null saw the clip. Is there a clip of him? <laughs> Seeing the clip. I don't even want to ask because, like, I know it's gonna be bad. Oh, God. Fuck me. Oh, God. Did Peppa end up taking the Epstein Island sponsorship? No, chat. No, she didn't. She did not- we- we cannot be held responsible for things said in 2009, alright, okay? I have a great stream, I'm adorable, and I have a laugh that lights up the room. Oh, Coyote, thank you! Thank you, my guy, you're so cute! Can't wait for Pippa's Mia Culpa. I'm glad that immediately after I told her about the cannibal incest game, she then went to make a waiting room for it. <laughs> <laughs> my my game recommendations just don't miss. And yet for some reason I had to play fucking Yik! <laughs> the what? Uh there's a game that I intend on playing as well. Like I I bought it immediately <laughs> after I read about it. But uh my first thought when I saw it was like this is a this is a Pippa. <laughs> this is a Pippa game. <laughs> Uh, it's called The Coffin of Andy and Lele, and it just released on Steam, and it is about a brother and a sister who, ha like, I don't know if they're in a cult or, like, if they see a cult, I don't remember, but, like, uh, something with a cult, and then they decide to start cannibalizing people, uh, and I guess, uh, the sister wants to fuck, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have room in your game list. I know, but it sounds so fucking weird. Josh's comment is in stream suggestions. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is like... This is like when you had a sleepover and then, like, you wanted to prank your friend into peeing the bed, but then both of you peed the bed and now you have to deal with the consequences <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> oh no, where's my browser so I can bring this up? Also, I'm sorry. Whenever whenever people like share stuff to me in a collab, like in Discord. For some reason, my brain just doesn't work, and I don't think of putting it on screen like I fucking should. And I don't know why that happens, chat, so I'm gonna apologize to you. <laughs> Did mod screen for null saying gamer words? He has a pass. Uh, null sentence is very short, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any gamer words with a cursory glance here. She hates us. No. No. You mean there are times your brain works? What do you mean both wetting the bed? I mean, I was I was in the collab, so it doesn't matter that I wasn't the one that said good pedophilia. <laughs> and if people started attacking people for saying it, I would defend her anyways. 
I was like, she kind of, she kind of dumb sometimes, but that's not a real opinion. We, we got too into the 2009 roleplay, man. <laughs> Null has like 50 passes. Wow, he has so much African-American DNA. <laughs> I mean, there's times my brain works. Yeah, when I say I don't know how to do something and then let Nim remote into my PC, that's my brain working. <laughs> the whole fucking stream was just an insane bit. I like... See, this is why I can't roleplay chat. Uh, Pippa even called me out for not being able to stick to the correct tenses. It's so fucking hard. For me to like talk in the correct tense when I'm when I'm role playing something with like a time skip, dude. <laughs> oh my god, they they became the class of 09. <laughs> Considering her history with Pop Tart guns. <laughs> I'm gonna chew my Pop Tarts. I'm gonna buy Pop Tarts when I go see the Benoit, and I'm gonna chew them purposely into gun shapes. And I'm gonna bring them on stream. <laughs> You want to play D&D &D with me one day? Or maybe Paranoia? What is Paranoia? Besides, like, what I already have. Never let her down for being so stupid about Pop-Tart Gun. I love that stinky wabbit. <laughs> Based when your wife asks you to roleplay in the bedroom and halfway through she forgets and asks why you're wearing a cop hat! <laughs> Oh god, I orgasm so hard I can't remember why you're wearing a costume. <laughs> I feel like that'd be more a compliment though, right? <laughs> Isn't Pippa the streamer who laughed at children getting hit by cars? Well, yeah, but that's just funny though. Why wouldn't you laugh at that? I, a fucking dumb idiot, why did you run in front of the car? You got the gamer sub samples and the spicy cat sticker. Hell yeah! Grats on being one of the two handy, baby. Flavors are good and the stickers on your PC. Hell yeah! Congrats, dude. I'm glad you enjoy the samples as well. Oh. Yeah, Ziz, I saw you say something about not being able to buy more samples. I think somebody else was asking about that before. Uh, I don't, I don't think there's any way to buy more samples. But whenever you get a shaker, you get samples with it. And Tamarin has mentioned, like, he's gotten orders before where they either forget to give him samples or they don't give him the right amount of samples. And he said that support uh, will, like, pretty much always fix that for you. So if you if you are missing samples when you buy a shaker cup, let's fucking ask him. Be like, give give me my sample. The kid getting whacked by a car was a funny clip. <laughs> you don't want to know how many answers there are for that? Oh, God. Can't believe the Benoit got shot with a pop tart. Now she's racist against pop tarts and pop tart accessories. <laughs> Literally. Oh my god. It sounds like nature's just doing it thing. Huh. The kid got ragdolled so hard. <laughs> Butthole blast sucked ass. Titty milk is good. I, like I said before, the fucking butthole blast seems really polarizing. People either fucking love it. Or they think it sucks. I haven't heard anyone be like, yeah, it's meh. <laughs> Objectively, cat. Thank you for the hundred biddies. Korsha and Benoli have collective filter debuff over 9,000. Yeah. You know, like someone else said earlier, we, uh, we, we don't bounce. We resonate. <laughs> Our one brain cell working in overdrive. We... We made a lot more progress in Dead Space 3 than I was expecting, though. <laughs> Especially because I didn't remember we were playing on hard mode. <laughs> You're conferring with Calzone which cup you should get? Uh, unfortunately, it says it all over their website, but my brain is dumb. So I'm going to reiterate, once a cup is sold out on their website, it's sold out forever. I think most of the cups that are out at the moment are on pre-order, which means like you don't have to worry about those ones selling out at the moment. The only one that's not pre-order, I think, is the uh, the, the tea cup. Maybe the army girl cup as well. But I'm, I'm trying to remember just off of my memory without looking at the website. You also got the sticker. You should have at least. It's in your package. Hell yeah! Congratulations. You got your sticker too. Congratulations, Avalanche. Hell yeah! You're a little upset that your favorite flavor is titty milk, which would be difficult to explain to your family. 
It wouldn't make it wouldn't make it any better to call it Jay Schlott's titty milk either, because your parents would just be like, "What the fuck is a Jay Schlott?" <laughs> oh Jesus, T Man's got to pretend to work. Good luck. You're assuming last night hurt my resume for Phase Invader. <laughs> I just I just know, you know. I never got officially rejected, but like I just know, you know. <laughs> You're sad they don't ship the subs to your- Wait, really? They don't? I didn't know that they had regions that were blocked off from being shipped to. What the heck? What the heck? Mountain Dew is banned in your country? You Ooh, what? You <laughs> Just caught up with the Dead Space stream? You didn't expect both of us to carry the- We're in 2009 bit for the whole time! Pippa's child voice speaks in short nasally bursts like Ben Shapiro! I should have had her say wet ass pussy. Well, we couldn't figure out how to mute in game. Like she was muted in my game, so I didn't have to worry about that. I could just have her in Discord. But for some reason, my in-game mic was coming through her game and we couldn't figure out how to mute it. So the whole time we were playing, I had scuffed mic coming through in Dead Space instead of Discord. So we, you know, we just we just committed to having fucking Xbox 360 mics. <laughs> Uh, Dead Space 3 hard is a normal game easy. What the hell? Y'all are two halves of a whole idiot. I love it. I I love that the Benoit and I make a whole idiot. <laughs> Black cherry dislikers are objectively long. That's objectively long. Objectively wrong. And I agree. Anal is great. Thank you, Drizzle. <laughs> We were proud the start tangent was only 30 minutes. It probably would have went longer, but like we tried to figure out how to make a lobby. <laughs> it's so bad you found that there's people on eBay selling individually bagged scoops of GG powders decanted from larger tubs. People selling sup samples like it's goddamn drugs. Wait, what? There's no way. Gamer sup samples e e eBay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't see any like decanted ones yet. There are people selling like the sample packets though. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Oh my god. I didn't know that there was like a fucking gamer sub black market. There's a there's a gamer sup's pineapple cocktail <laughs> one ten chance uh, limited edition sealed tub. I don't know what that means. One ten chance of what? Oh, that packaging is really cute. I'm not logged into eBay, am I? Okay, good. I'm not. No, no, accidentally doxing myself. <laughs> where am I? Where my browser at? Where my browser? Bam. I don't I don't know how much three hundred and twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents in Canadian dollars is in in oh it's approximately two thirty seven ninety two. Wow, Canadian money's fucking worthless. Holy shit! <laughs> the teacup was the latest announcement you saw. Yeah, yeah. I'm in phase. We saw the moonshine animation. Oh my god. <laughs> When the two schizo VTubers share the same brain cell, you get very wholesome cursed streams. I wouldn't have it any other way. I fucking love- <laughs> I fucking love the collabs with Thiva. <laughs> What's funny is that I tried to wrangle her, but she kept going. I tried to wrangle her, Fishman said play the fucking game. She, uh, she just looped. <laughs> she looped! I tried, chat! <laughs> There's a theory around where we need to stick me, Yabbit, Lemon Woman on the same stream and watch the insanity. That's what the that's what the Sister Wives of the Forest stream was like. <laughs> Pippa Pippa just turns into a dictator and makes us her concubine slaves who build walls. The 09 nostalgia vibes were heartwarming. <laughs> you two are my favorite retards. Thank you. <laughs> A couple of Europeans drank 20 bottles of Mountain Dew and stroked out. So then some countries in the EU banned it. Man, feels good having freedom where people can do dumb shit like that and stroke out and kill themselves, but then our government won't ban the soda. <laughs> Someone said the in-game voice needed to 
set up in the co-op lobby? Oh god, how terrible. <laughs> we couldn't make the lobby! We had to do the weird public matchmaking! The good audio at the end felt wrong. <laughs> I like how people got used to it. Gamersubs refuses to let you buy samples. You will buy off the black market. What the heck? What the heck? Don't buy off the black market. Yeah, but I can't, uh... I don't want to see sponsored items. I want to see, like... I want to see, like, just more of this. How do I just see more of this? What if I type in, like, Gamersubs samples? Uh... This is the cup. The cup. Anything for views. Cup. Cup. Mm -hmm. I want to see the decanted samples. Oh, GD. GD has a link. Hold on. Cold one. Strawberry deck. I'm sad that this isn't in stock anymore. I I, I doubt it'll come back because it's not even on their website. But man, now now I like bemoan not getting to try the strawberry daiquiri, man. Four scoop sample? No way! No way! You're fucking right, dude! This is on the UK website as well. They are legitimately... Okay. <laughs> this is fucking funny. <laughs> this is fucking... Hold on. <laughs> Oh god, I can't type. I can't type. My eyes are watering. Nothing about gamer subs. How much juice does four scoops get you? Uh, that's two 16 ounce water bottles is, is four scoops. You're not supposed to have more than four scoops of the caffeine one in a day either. Uh, so <laughs> four, four scoops is, is, is basically two, two of the 16 ounce water bottles. <laughs> oh God. 400 milligrams of caffeine. Can one snort the powder? I mean, it's a powder, so you probably can. I haven't tried, and as as someone who shills the brand, I'm gonna have to say that's not the way it's meant to be ingested. <laughs> so if if it doesn't have the desired effect, uh, we can't be held liable. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want, I wanted to show my fucking gamer subs rep just in case they hadn't seen it before, cause that's fucking hilarious. And he was like, "I've seen doggy bags of powder trading. Nothing surprises me anymore." <laughs> can you, can, can you imagine going to a convention and putting like gamer sub samples in little twisted baggies? And it's like you got them all in your trench coat, and you're like, "Hey, kid." You want to trade some sups? <laughs> Water is gay. Fish, fuck it. What? Water is hella gay. Imagine drinking water. Why are people so averse to just drinking water? Well, like, water is flavorless, you know? Like, what the fuck is water flavor? What the fuck is water flavor, man? It feels nice to have flavored water. Every time I hiccup, it tastes like Chef Boyardee. And I don't know why. I haven't eaten Chef Boyardee. And the last thing I ate before bed was my fucking rice and chicken. Uh, like, that was, like, way before bed as well. Because it was, like, after my collab. And then I had to not... I had to, like, wait for my mouth to, to not be food. And then I did lines. Not, like, drug lines, but, like, voiceover lines. And then I went to bed. So why are my hiccups tasting like Chef Boyardee ravioli? What the fuck is happening? 
Have I been sleep eating again? I don't eat in my sleep! What's wrong with you? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just like really bad acid reflux. I don't know, man. Tap water has a bunch of additives that make it taste horrible. That's true. Tap water does taste like shit. <laughs> Did you shower in Chef Boy RD? <laughs> <coughs> Oh my god, I'm choking on laughing. No, I haven't! It's my Italian trying to escape! My insides are pasta! <laughs> I don't want to be trying under the counter gamer gu game, game Gamer sub samples! Please just sell them! <laughs> I don't- I- I guess- I- I don't know- I- I don't know why, I guess, exactly, they don't sell the samples. Let's go back to the Pippa collab topic and then come back to Gamer Subs a third time, ten minutes from now! <laughs> We're giga looping! The loop is eternal! Oh, the whole the whole screenshot thing I asked for earlier. Let me get let me get rid of my, my Halloween lights, because they're in the way now. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised the latest Pippa VOD didn't get nuked. Like 90% of it is her and Kirsha calling each other gay. And making gay jokes. It was 2009! You were allowed to make gay jokes in 2009! <laughs> yeah, that stream was gay. <laughs> I'm also surprised the VOD didn't get nuked. I even... Thinking, thinking about her using heavy machinery to dig as far as possible in in the Earth's crust. I even told her, I was like, if, if Fishman needs me to delete a VOD, <laughs> I don't mind doing it. <laughs> she was like, don't let him know he has that power. <laughs> Poor fucking Fishman. <laughs> I am going- I am going to give that man both an aneurysm and alcohol poisoning. And just wait for his reaction on social media. Oh, fuck. I am surprised you, also, considering the segment where she and her stream partner talk about pedophilia for 10 minutes. Hey! Hey! Excuse me, I tried to stop her! I tried to be the voice of reason! <laughs> It was- it wasn't even my fault this time! <laughs> oh, fuck, play the game! God, I feel like that should be made into a sticker, man. I like that. <laughs> Put the gamer subs in his water bowl, he'll be fine! You got reduced to stream partner? I mean, uh, these people don't know who I am. <laughs> Is this on Kiwi Farms? Yeah, somebody said that Null saw the clip. Look on the bright side, at least neither of you insulted his cooking. That could have been really bad. Holy shit. I showed all the context, he says, about a 10 minute conversation, but only included a one minute clip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't expect it to be clipped in, in like, uh, <laughs> a way where people aren't trying to misconstrue it. There it is, Kirsha looking at Pippa with the glowing red eyes of disapproval. <laughs> Pippa needs to request a recording from Fishman of him angrily saying, Play the game, Yabbit, and make it a dono redemption. Holy shit. Holy, oh my gosh, she, holy shit, she should actually do that. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I have I have relayed I have relayed this genius money making idea. <laughs> Play the game. Oh, he linked to a ten minute clip underneath. Oh, okay, spoiler full ten minute clip. Fishman recording needs to be inside his tiny echoey bathroom of an office. He always voice chats in. <laughs> 
Oh, man. <laughs> she types fast. It's the fingernails. Why is Kiwi Farms of all sites trying to take a moral high ground on joking about shit? Uh, because the people on the farms, I guess, dislike uh, anime. And so since they dislike anime, they dislike VTubers. And since they dislike VTubers, all VTubers promote pedophilia or some shit. I don't know. I don't know, there was, a, there was a guy who was, like, really fucking mad at me that I got shown. <laughs> who was just like, I can't, I can't wait for Kirsha and all those other VTubers to cut their fucking throats and bleed out and die. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> Man, so you're gonna bleed out and die before me because you're gonna cut yourself on that edge. Holy shit. <laughs> like, yes, Kirsha, the most lolly looking VTuber you can find. <laughs> I guess they were mad at my take that, like, lollies aren't real children, and so lolly isn't child sexual abuse material. <laughs> Kiwi boy's having a normal one. Kirsha's a hag lolly. Whoa. <laughs> Fruit's mom will use this as ammo to mass report me on Twitter. I didn't even say anything on Twitter. There's nothing she could report me for except maybe misgendering Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> Any blow black, blow black, blow back from Twitter over that conversation? Not that I've seen. I haven't checked my uh, my notifications since I woke up, though. And they need that uh, daredevil dog after their posts. <laughs> Null has a heavy hatred of anything anime and lollies. I said I want to talk to the deer feeder. But since I'm an anime woman and he is racist towards my kind, he's not willing to have a conversation. You know, that says something about a society when the KKK is willing to talk to a black man. But a feeder who owns a dark website that is looked down upon by everywhere else on the light web. They won't, they won't talk to an anime woman. Oh lord, what times we live in. <laughs> You know the answer? Ever since Null had the displeasure of trying to moderate 8chan and all the CP posting, he equates anime with pedophilia and the more suggestible of his user base follow along with it. No, I understand why he has that opinion. And I can understand why you would also see anyone after having to moderate that shit. You'd see anyone who's into anime is like, man, that's just fucking weird pedo shit. Like, I get it. I get his experience. Anime antis are worse than KKK confirmed. <laughs> Null also said he keeps his actual interest hidden because people will run it, f ruin it for him. I mean, this is fucking also understandable. I feel like you kind of have to have some decent... I, I, I was like, pictures of him exist, so I can't really say OPSEC, but like, you gotta try something when you're in his position to have something that's not like everywhere online. <laughs> The farms has a pretty tarted take on anime, pretty in line with trad cucks and commies. One day, one day, I will speak to one of the one of the other right wing people who also are racist against anime. <laughs> Nim has a DM. I saw Nim screaming about a DM, but I'm in the middle of a sentence. I'm not. I'm not gonna get distracted and go on a different tangent like I always do. Wait, I'm Luscious as a mod now? He's been a mod for a while. He's just never fucking here! Like moderators are wont to do. <laughs> he's he's following the trajectory of my normal choice for mods, you know? They get the they get the mod stick and then they disappear. <laughs> Luscious is a nurse, so he's very busy. I just like making fun of my mods. <laughs> I also approached the collab completely wrong, and if I did it, I would have 100% been doxxed. I don't know how to approach collabs, Skewki. That's why- that's why it's weird as fuck when someone like Short Fat Otaku says I have a- <clears throat> Excuse me. Reputation as a ladder climber. And it's like, what kind of- what kind of clout chasing ladder climber only collabs with one person? That's not much of a ladder, that's kind of like- a single step. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck do you mean? I have a reputation for that. I don't know how to talk to other people. Weebs are truly the most oppressed. That's true. Going back to 2009 was amazing. You don't want to go back to current year anymore. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
Ben Shapiro collab when? Let's hit him with an email and a Mazel Tov, Shapiro san. <laughs> Go for Tim Pool. You want to see my avatar on his show? I think he's like the most racist because he would definitely want someone there in flesh. And that can't happen. You assume anti anime people have dark secrets? Also, they're anti American. Mods have no rights. <laughs> Not letting your patients die for your anime waifu is cringe. What the fuck? Do I like cockroaches? No, cockroaches are disgusting. I saw, if you're talking about the new V Shoho person, I saw that they're a cockroach. I don't know who they are. <laughs> I keep seeing people talking about how V Shoho is poaching multiple Niji Sanji talents, so maybe it's another Niji. I don't know. Oh man, ladder climber. How dare they try moving up? Kirsha doesn't play ranked, I know. I'm, I'm probably banned from playing ranked if you think about it, because, like, I don't think there's any universe in which I would genuinely be in, like, a Niji or a Hololive collab. Like, I would feel so fucking out of place, man. <laughs> and there's no way their handlers would allow me on one of their streams kitchen steppy stool climber oh my god where the hell did he get that from i don't know he just said that i have a reputation for that and he's heard it from multiple people and i was just like what the fuck <laughs> he's the n nerd who larped as a disabled lesbian i keep hearing that he larped as a disabled le lesbian i didn't remember who the fuck he was so i don't remember the disabled lesbian <laughs> larp <laughs> None of what you guys said last night was even equivalent to what was actually said in 2009. It was still censored because if you'd said anything that was actually said, your every account would be nuked immediately. No, you're right. Here, we tried to embody the spirit as much as we could in current years, cockery. <laughs> She's the opposite of a ladder climber. Anyone climbing the ladder will get pulled down. Oh my god. How dare you collab with your friend, you ladder climber. I think that's the funniest part. That's the funniest part to me. That, like, anyone talking about, like, my collabs with Pippa are, like, me, like, using her or, like, clout chasing. When it's, like, you clearly didn't even watch, like, our first collabs together, much less you don't watch either of our actual content. Like, fucking go home, gamer girl, unironically, fucking tourists. <laughs> He may be mistaking me for someone else since all anime women are the same. <laughs> Dev, Dev is just mad. <laughs> That's rude. Please know you don't want to hear Shapiro whine about Israel. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe Ben Shapiro will sing for me. If I could get Ben Shapiro to say the full wet ass pussy song, my life would be complete. Like, I don't even want him to sing. I just want him to say it like he was previously. Like, that... That lives in my head rent fucking free. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying, chat. Shut up, silly woman. <sighs> it was leaked two days ago who they are by looking at their Steam account. Oh. I don't know. I don't- I- I didn't know that. <laughs> Look, she started You're another so... new topic. No, I didn't! I'm still talking about this shit, I think. <laughs> I didn't forget spicy about the DM! What the hell is a spicy cat raid? Pixie Lixie! <laughs> what an odd time to raid! <laughs> Thank you for the raid! Welcome raiders! Welcome raiders! Poop- poop- poopy raid? Hold on, wait, why is it a poopy raid? Hold on, wait, why is it a poopy raid? Why are- why are you pooping in my chat? <laughs> what is happening? Thank you. Thank you for the raid. I hope you enjoy your food and your stream was nice, Pixie Wixie. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, Hello, my name is Kirsha. Aya. I talk about weird shit, cursed shit, political shit. I talk- I talk a lot of shit. My tangents here, they have tangents on tangents on tangents. I don't know where we're going or where we're headed, but it's not going to be where I planned ever. So enjoy the riplash and the whiplash. I can't speak English. I am ESL. Welcome. <laughs> enjoy the whiplash. I don't offer health insurance. Welcome. 
<laughs> We're already three tangent layers deep. I I gotta revive the performant waifu. She is dead. You talk a lot of shit and just got a poopy raid. Seems like we'll slide right in. Please do not freeze the shit in a condom and use it as a dildo. I've read enough stories about that and I don't want to hear more. Thank you. I appreciate your contributions. <laughs> Why is it a poop stream? Proceeds to say shit eight times in a minute. Fuck you, Riz. <laughs> Enough stories means more than one. It does. You really didn't have to say that. Well, that's your fault for coming in here with a poopy raid now, ain't it? <laughs> All right, Peppermint Wife, who's alive? Kirsha has a tab for that. Thousands of tabs died yesterday. The second tab of cost has happened, and I don't think I can necromancy them back to life! Close the fucking tabs, you psychopath! Also, did I just see that merch command not work? Nim! 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 Nim, our merch command isn't working! Nim, there's something you need to fix! <laughs> there's something you need to fix, Nim! Feet Cam was redeemed earlier. Was it Feet Cam for Feet Tam? That's something he likes doing. <laughs> Don't let your woman brain get in the way of using my brain to do things. <laughs> Nim, send help! <laughs> help. Nobody ignores his DM but still calls for tech support. I'm not ignoring his DM. I see it. I know what it is. I'm just not. I'm just not there yet. Okay, it's not time for that tangent. Merkger, thank you for fixing it, Nem. You're beautiful. <laughs> nice strawberries. Shh. Shh. You can't see them. You can't. You can't see them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> And, uh, okay. I'm surprised, also considering the segment, where she and her stream partner talk about pedophilia for ten minutes. She then even started to talk about how she considers some pedophilia to be good until she got a stream donation from her manager telling them to play the game. I tried! <clears throat> Ki Kiwi Farms Whisper, I tried! I tried to get her to fucking dig up, but she really wanted to go to China. <laughs> I tried. No, you did. I did. I said, Pippa, dig up. Pippa, stop. Dig up. I'm trying to get you to dig up. And she went quiet for a second. And I said something else. And I thought the topic was over. But then she was like... No, I want to put down the shovel and get it a backhoe. <laughs> Pippa needs a safe word. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to ask Pippa for a safe word next collab, you know? Just just in case. Just just so we don't have to wake up and Fishman's in the hospital. <laughs> she had to play the part of a nine-year-old that thinks they are right. That's true. <laughs> That's true. The new account drive-by. New account drive-by? Oh, joined October 15th, 2023. That's true. It is a new account drive-by. Pippa can't tell the difference between up and down. You needed to use dig keyboard or dig mouse. That's true. That's my fault. <laughs> Pippa and Lumi have a safe word. It's mango. I don't know if that's a very good safe word, though, because, like, mango can come up in normal conversation. <laughs> Given her interactions with Dizzy, I think that a safe word would only encourage her. Oh, my God. Which liver is Sakuna on at this point? I really hope... I really hope that Nim and Fishman can become drinking buddies. I... Just the thought of them losing years off their lives from having to deal with Pippa and I, drinking together, playing Mahjong together, working in the warehouse together. Like, it just... It sounds like a perfect setup for an anime. <laughs> Does it? Does Pippa eat fruit? I don't know. <laughs> How often do I talk about mangoes in normal conversation? I don't know. I've definitely talked about mangoes before, though. <laughs> Nim doesn't drink, though. He'll start. 
In fairness, you weren't actually talking about pedophilia, but Pippa insisted on using that word anyways. I tried, chat. <laughs> Next time Kier tries to loop Epstein, please start spamming Mango Mango! They both probably have the Clint Eastwood thousand yard stare at this point. We have we have a squibby. I got a I got a squibby made for Nim with a despair expression, so <laughs> How often do you think about the Roman Empire? Not very often, but occasionally it creeps into my brain. How does one make a donation? Uh Uh well there's a link in my Twitch panels. There's a way to get it in chat. There's a way to get it in chat for people on mobile, but I can't remember what the command is! Thank you, Skewky! <laughs> Thank you, Skewky! I can't remember my own <laughs> donate link. Try using a word that'll be very out of place and makes no sense when blurted out. For some reason, the first thing that came to mind was a death to get versed. I like no, we're, we don't usually break out into German, so that works. Will I play the watermelon game? It looks like black tar heroin for autistic women. I don't know what the watermelon game is. Hello, Oliver Williams. Oh, oh, oh I found it. Every hour. Oh, I found it. Every hour. Thank you, thank you, Marcus Aurelius, Mr. Historian Man, for the Hagen dollar. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hundred dollar minimum. Uh, do not use hype chat! Oh god. Oh god, we have people who don't know what hype chat is. Hold on. Don't use hype chat! Don't use the hype chat! <laughs> Did I put the Halloween donation list somewhere? You can't see it anywhere on Twitch. I tried, but it's not... Like, I can't. It won't let me. The size isn't correct. And I tried resizing it, and it I couldn't get it to work. Sleeka game is literal crack cocaine for autistic people. Oh no. Oh no, dude. <laughs> the problem with picking a random word that doesn't make sense in conversation is that's literally Kirsch's wheelhouse. That's true. That's true. You tell him Snoop, yes. Hype chat hate. Snoop dog love. So I am I am glad. I am glad that now that I'm actually looking at what's on my screen, they did include the full 10 minute clip for context. <laughs> the fucking and I guess Null said VTuber sisters where you at <laughs> I tried <laughs> hi hi <laughs> Shugazi thank you for the five dollar doodles thank you thank you <laughs> I tried to get people to pull up, Mr. Feeder Man. I tried. <laughs> I am I am but a mere brain damaged fox woman. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> you were addicted to 2048 as a kid. Your friend is still. You're 25. I don't know what that is. If Shugazi really wanted to say hi, he would do it in Twitch chat. He's just worried about getting banned, uh, which you know, understandable. Is there any chance y'all can get in trouble from the YouTube overlords? Not to mention Twitch. I was I was very unsure about doing the age joke based on how anal Twitch is about that shit. But like, I've been here long enough. They have my tax information. So hopefully, you know, like I'll get a pass. <laughs> Even if people in chat can't do it because they'll get banned. <laughs> Didn't people say it was okay, not good? No, she literally said good pedophilia. <laughs> the distinction matters even if she kept using the wrong word in the first place. <laughs> Taxing you on royalties, I know. I know. You and your friends yelled tree if we saw a mailman because someone got robbed by a guy impersonating a delivery guy. Oh my god. What the fuck? Craft fars you got flight verse sharung. I don't know what the fuck that word is, Spider God. My German's not that good. Thank you for the ten dollars. Thank you for the ten dollars, my guy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Wig wiggly puppy. I am in Twitch, Chum. 
Shugazi, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Literal stream privilege. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, just tell Twitch it was one of your minor alters. That's true. <laughs> That's true. If it helps, I can pay for your therapy overnight. Oh, no. Not like this. <laughs> you wouldn't be surprised if this gets me mentioned on Null Stream, so have fun with the influx of tourists over the next few weeks. Uh, well, considering his hatred of anime and the residual hatred of anime of everybody on the farms, I don't think it will really get that many tourists. And the tourists that do come by, uh, will probably be expecting me to say what Pippa did, I guess. And they will be sorely disappointed because there is no good pedophilia. <laughs> That's still a semantic distinction. Good murder is not the same as murder is good. Oh, man. <laughs> I felt good to hear people talking freely. We were talking as freely as we could because we still can't use actual terminology that we could in 2009. <laughs> Apparently tied them up in their house and shot their dog was the story we heard. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wasn't the whole thing that you were pretending to be a pair of 13-year-old boys in 2009 saying stupid, ill-informed things because they didn't know any better? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Stepped away for a minute and we're talking about safe words now. Welcome. <laughs> we'll get filtered out really fast. The oh, irony being... Oh, I found it. The irony found being it. that my stream content oh, outside sure. of video games is basically... Like mad at the internet or Sar Sargon's old fucking this week in stupid. So the irony being that those people likely would not get filtered. <laughs> if they if they actually knew what my content was. The VTuber thread already knows about her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Boomer tourists. Ah oh, yes, one of my people. Feet! <laughs> Null has a whole week of shit to talk about already. Not sure if you didn't be able to fit it in. But he hates the anime! <laughs> Great Fox, you have tabs. Is there a tab about using a colander in the bedroom? I had a lingerie party and got a colander with some lingerie. The colander was on my wedding registry and my friend put the gifts in one bag. I thought if anyone would know, it would be you. What? That was too, that was too long of a sentence for me to get the whole thing in, in my brain small. Is there a tab about using a colander in the bedroom? You had a lingerie party and got a colander with lingerie. The colander was on your wedding registry and your friend put the gifts in one bag. Maybe they just wanted to save space. I don't... I don't think there's anything about using a colander in the bedroom. They're probably just like, well, it was on your gift registry and also have this lingerie. Good job. Colander sex doesn't exist. I mean, no. No, it does not. I mean, oh, hold on. I shouldn't look up. I shouldn't look up colander sex with the, the, the showing. <laughs> boy, fuck along. No, no, thankfully, there is nothing about using a colander in the bedroom. So that is that is still a say so item that you you can own. <laughs> You wonder if there's a CalArt VTuber made for anime haters? That'd be funny. <laughs> uh, arts in the Discord. Speaking of arts in Discord. Fuck. I hate Discord. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Where's my monitor capture? Where's my monitor capture? Here we go. Is it on the right monitor? It's on the right monitor. This is- this was Nim's DM. This was Nim's DM. So fucking cute.
<laughs> Nano Ketchup Sun! Beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. Holy shit. <laughs> this is fucking I love that little grape. <laughs> Holy shit, thank you. Thank you for the art, Mayor. Thank you, Sawa, for the fucking beautiful rendition of the song. Perfect for the courses. Thank you, thank you. Silly little dudes. We need the full version. Holy shit. <laughs> Good shit post is good. This is a high quality shit post, and it is wonderful. <laughs> I enjoy the patriotic flag now. <laughs> so I was the canonical voice of Korsha. She do she do kind of sound like when I do the Korsha voice. That's ah, as hella true. Thank you guys, Nano Korsha's son. At what point does it stop being a shit post? Yes. <laughs> So love! Did I see the little docky sprite? I did! I did see the docky sprite! Now I get to thwap people with my fucking Levi pillow, just like Peepa has her Colorous docky. Thank you, Danawar. I have not had time to play more Death Road to Canada, but I do, I do would like to. It was, it was very fun. It was very fun playing as Peepa and myself and LARPing in the zombie apocalypse. Did I hear about my uncle? His anal nights might get more frequent than just Tuesdays. I did hear that he got arrested. Uh, I don't know the extent of his arrest because he's still been posting on Twitter. I've been like tangentially following it, but I have no idea like what the court case that he is uh, advocating for is about. I should play that game with Pippa. Oh my God, yeah. Please don't slap people with my stained, excuse me, I keep my docky clean. Is that the Uncle Turtle? Yeah, not my real uncle, but Uncle Turtle Boy. We just call him my uncle because, well, besides his name being Uncle Turtle Boy, he's from Boston, so he sounds like me. Help. <sighs> Kier's Asmundaki. I feel like... I feel like that would be a step too far. I actually want Asmongold to talk to me. Right, okay? So I feel like getting a printed pillowcase with his actual image on it would take the schizoing a step too far. <laughs> that, would, uh, that would be getting into like shrine territory, you know? <laughs> Bro, she has limits! I know. It would be a conversation starter. Oh my god. It breaks the ice, what the fuck? Uncle Turtle Boy Talk reminded you, did I ever get a response from the serial killer I sent a fan art request to who was in jail? No, I have not. What is this? This is sick. You're watching this while blowing this? What? I don't think my stream oh, makes very good, like, blowjob background noise. I mean, I guess I could kind of be like Family Guy, but I don't have enough musical bumps for that to make sense. <laughs> Didn't Shy Lily do exactly that? They would just say you're copycatting? Shy Lily did it on, like, a PNG. She she did it on a PNG, not a real docky. <laughs> oh, he said joint. Too late, you're the blowjob guy now. <laughs> I have several questions. I might have several answers. <laughs> what, is, what is this? What is this browser? Confrontational blogger Turtle Boy hit with witness intimidation charge in mass homicide case. Aiden Kearney arrested over conduct on behalf of murder suspect Karen Reed. Hmm. Confrontational blogger. I feel like that's rude. I don't feel like Turtle Boy's a blogger. He, like, covers news shit. He seems like an actual, like, journalist. He, like, goes on the ground and he, like, interviews people and shit. So, like, I feel like it's kind of rude to just call him a blogger. I'm gonna be real. Mass equals Massachusetts, not mass equals many murders. Oh, yeah, I just kind of glazed over that. <laughs> I'm just so used to saying.
saying Massachusetts is mass? Yeah, it's a, it's Massachusetts homicide case. Not a not a mass homicide case. <laughs> I'm just so used to fucking saying the state like that. I'm sorry. Ah uh, yes. Dr. Uncle Turtle Boy. Enemy number one. <laughs> this motherfucker trying to ice skate uphill! <laughs> oh, God. With witness intimidation and conspiracy related to a criminal case against a woman accused of running over and killing her boyfriend, a Boston police officer, with her vehicle. Aiden Timothy Kearney wore a hoodie emblazoned with the message, Free Karen Reed, when he was led handcuffed into a courthouse to be arraigned on multiple counts of intimidation of a witness, juror or law enforcement official, and a single count of conspiracy. Kearney, who pleaded not guilty, was released on personal recognizance with a requirement that he not have contact with people tied to Reed's murder case. Saying his client vehemently denies the accusations, Kearney's lawyer told the judge Wednesday that Kearney's opinions were protected by the First Amendment. The charges in Stoughton District Court stem from Kearney's advocacy on behalf of Reed, who's accused of running over her boyfriend, John O'Keefe, and leaving him unconscious on the lawn of a home in Canton, southwest of Boston, in January 2022. Reed is charged with second-degree murder, vehicular manslaughter while impaired, and leaving the scene Boy, of an accident. Dog, the case has spun off conspiracy theories on social media, and Reed's attorney alleged that there was a cover-up involving local and state police. On Wednesday, Fall River attorney Kenneth Mello, the special prosecutor appointed to look into Kearney's actions, read aloud messages Kearney allegedly sent to witnesses and investigators, saying they were aimed at harassing, threatening, and intimidating. He also said Kearney received material from a police dispatcher who illegally accessed a motor vehicle database. In August, District Attorney Michael W. Morrissey took the unusual step of releasing a video statement in which he condemned absolutely baseless harassment and vilification of witnesses in the matter. Innuendo is not evidence. And I think, I think if I am reading this correctly, let me go, let me go to the Turtle Boy Daily News here. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a wrongful arrest lawsuit possibly happening with him. Um, Canton cover. He's, he's on fucking part 180. Yeah, award winning journal. I don't know what awards he's won, but like, yeah, I feel like it's really rude for uh, him to be called a blogger and not a journalist based on what he does. Canton cover up. Two Stoughton court judges have ruled that Michael Morrissey, Helena Rafferty don't understand how the First Amendment works. Well, that's nice. That's nice that he like documents like literally fucking everything. But I'm trying to find out because again, this is 178 parts. And I, I think the whole thing here is that, like, the police were the ones who ran over the guy. And they're, like, blaming it on this woman instead when she did not do it. Is, I think, what it is. But, like, I don't want to misquote what is happening. So I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find, like, where he, he talks about what exactly is happening here. New Bedford dance studio owner says Turtle Boy's story exposing him for being charged with sending naked pictures to kids is fake news. When when hit pieces start coming out saying that you're sending pictures to kids when you're not, I feel like you're doing something correct, right? Like if they're going this fucking far trying to smear you, what the actual fuck? New Bedford dance studio owner says Turtle Boy story exposing him for being charged with sending naked pictures to kids is fake. I'm rereading this because I'm shot my brain. I can't tell if this is saying Turtle Boy is accused of it or like the dance studio guy is accused of it. And this has nothing to do with the court case we were reading about. <laughs> New Bedford dance studio owner Sean Pacheo has responded to our story about how he's currently being charged with disseminating naked pictures to a 13-year-old boy. Okay, so it's the dance studio owner. It has nothing to do with the court case. My bad. I miss I misread the, the title. I thought it had to do with the court case, and they were saying that Turtle Boy was the one sending images. My bad, chat. The ESL kicked in. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. So it has nothing to do with the court case. Not Turtle Boy. He's not being smeared. I was just like, what the fuck? How can, how can you go that far? Woman brained again! That's, you know, at least I can correct myself, you know? At least, at least I could fix what I read instead of going to Twitter and 
writing shit. <laughs> it's okay, ESL love. In defense, in, in a sense deleted Facebook post, he calls our accurate documented reporting untrue because we've had Twitter and Facebook accounts previously removed. A story can be perceived completely different when there's a bunch of missing parts, facts, proof, and literal simple sentences taken out. Or if you're like me and just can't understand a headline written in plain English. <laughs> I appreciate all the support and messages for those that truly know me. I thank you for reaching out with concerns. It's abnormally hard trying to defend or prove something to people who have spent decades committed to misunderstanding you. A never-ending battle. As much as I've been legally advised to stay silent and not engage, I'm here just to say that this is being dealt with and I'd like to share one of the small sections that was taken out of said article. At this time, none of the accusations have come to fruition, but if he's being charged, doesn't that mean they have come to fruition? Hold on. And there is nothing to speak on this matter now or in the coming future. The team at Summit Dance Center and I are confident that truth prevails and regardless of the false accusations and attacks that are being thrown at us, we will continue to serve and care and provide a safe environment for our dance community. I don't like people who use the terminology safe environment. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna take that disrespect. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? What disrespect? A safe space. Yeah, right? Please note the footer of the blog spreading misinformation reads as follows. We are constantly getting censored and banned by Facebook. Twitter has done the same. The trolls mass reported our blog to Google AdSense thousands of times. This is sufficient to determine that such website is not a reliable source of information that bases their articles on facts, but rather hand-picked, biased, hateful content by someone who is not a professional or yet qualified as a trustworthy and only spread these lies in order to take advantage and monetize through their ad system. No, that just means that they are subject to having their opinions deleted based on them saying things that the overlords don't like. So he's on the same side as this dance studio guy? This this has nothing to do with the uh, the court case of the murder that I was reading about. I thought it did, which is why I read the title and I was very confused. But no, uh, Turtle Boy is the one who wrote the, the article about how this dance studio guy is being charged for sending uh, pornographic photos to 13-year-olds. Has anyone made a spirit fingers joke yet? <gasps> How about the Sniper Wolf Jack's film thing? I don't want to show any of, like, the Sniper Wolf stuff on stream because, like, she did go close to the dude's house and I would feel weird having that up. Like, I know it's fucking everywhere, but that, like, I would just feel weird, you know? But, uh, Sniper Wolf sounds like a crazy fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. And I don't think it's cancel culture to remove someone from a platform if they are going out of their way to actually dox people and not only that, but go to their house in real life. Like... That is, that is not cancel culture to get rid of her. That is removing an actual dangerous person. She committed armed robbery before? Yeah, she sounds fucking crazy. You listened to her story yesterday. You were like, what the fuck? Yeah, she just sounds crazy. The dude made like 30 videos about her on his channel. Yeah, and I mean, if he's like fucking harassing her online, she has channels with which to deal with that. Right? You don't go to someone's house if they're harassing you. He really dislikes her. Yeah. Her confused thumbnail expression reminds you of PH, not YouTube. What? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Uh, These are certainly words. When you put them together, they almost make a sentence. His overall point appears to be that because our Facebook accounts are mass reported by trolls, that the police reports and court documents we posted in our story are therefore unreliable. Pay no attention to the evidence and facts pointing out that Sean Pacheo is a pedophile. Focus on the fact that Turtle Boy is one of millions of people who lost a Facebook account due to mass reporting. Another quote from the Facebook post. None of these accusations have come to fruition and there's nothing else to speak on this matter now or in the coming future. Sir, these accusations were all substantiated by celebrate extraction reports showing that you sent sexual inappropriate messages to a child. You also solicited a dick picture from a 13-year-old and then commented about a big growing boy he was. And this is an excerpt from court documents, it looks like. Detectives finished questioning Sean and then had him sign a consent to search phone in order to forensically analyze the data within the phone. Shortly thereafter, the interview concluded. The undersigned applied for and was granted a total of three search warrants for the Snapchat social media account, which was owned by Sean Pacheo. As a result of the forensic interview and obtaining that 
uh, something blurred out. And Sean have been Snapchat friends. Oh, the blurred out thing is the miner's name. Uh, the miner and Sean have been Snapchat friends since September of 2022. An undersigned received content within the three search warrants expanding from September 1st to December 31st. The undersigned also obtained a forensic analysis of Sean's cell phone content via the phone extraction software Celebrate. A summary pertaining to the content within Snapchat and Sean's cell phone content is as follows. Snapchat provided the undersigned with an Excel spreadsheet containing conversations between the miner and Sean between the dates of September 1st and September, or December 31st. The undersigned discovered 19 total messages exchanged between the two and they are as follows. On January 11th, 2023, the undersigned was contacted by Miss Corimer, who informed the undersigned that she obtained the miner's iPad from his father. It was explained to the undersigned that the miner's only utilization of Snapchat occurs while he is in the possession of the iPad. It was further explained to the undersigned that the miner received the Snapchat picture of Pacheo's penis, as well as taking a picture of his own penis on the iPad. A consent to search form was provided to Corimer in which she signed. The undersigned obtained an iPad, 6th gen, serial number. The iPad was forensically analyzed by Detective Samuel Algerin Mo Mojica. Prior to viewing the forensic analysis of the iPad, Miss Corimer informed the undersigned that the minor told another child from the dance studio about Pacheo, sending him a picture of his penis via Snapchat. It was also brought to my attention that the minor told the same child that a different conversation between the minor and Pacheo transpired where Pacheo told the minor that he was going to tattoo his name, name blurred out, on his ass cheek. Corimer was informed by the child that the conversation was sent to her on December 11th. The undersigned received the results of the content on the iPad on January 13th. A thorough examination of the content of the iPad led to the discovery of several screenshots of the conversation between the minor and Pacheo. The conversation proceeded as followed. Sean, your name, LOL. The minor, shut the hell up, let me see, you're so joking right now. Sean, LOL, yeah, I'm joking. The minor, damn. Sean said, I'll get it on my ass cheek. And the minor said, no. Furthermore, the forensic analysis of the iPad, the undersigned discovered a file date time of one of the screenshots of the above conversation had been present on the miner's iPad since November 12th, 2022. And then it just continues with more, with more pictures and shit that have been sent. Thankfully, he censored this, so it's safe for Twitch. I appreciate you, Uncle Turtle Man. <laughs> it's even better when it's ice cream. Why are predators always so stupid? I mean, I'm glad they're stupid so they can get caught. Let's be real. You know what else can ruin a person's life? A kid being sent dong pictures by his dance teacher. But yeah, you're the victim here, Sean. Yeah, it looks like this guy's uh, pretty fucked, if I'm going to be real. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like this guy is pretty fucked, considering the evidence that they have against him. So I do not know why he is trying to say, oh, Uncle Turtle Boy is wrong. His Facebook got taken oh, down before. <laughs> Godfrey of Bouillon was a French noble in the First Crusade. He eventually became the tenuous leader of the Crusader forces and led the assault. <laughs> Your shit's all retarded and you talk like a candy ass. That's true. Of Jerusalem. Face the wall behavior, truly, truly face the wall behavior, dude. Snapchat penis hate! Please don't send unsolicited dongs to people. Who the fuck is Turtle Boy? Uncle Turtle Boy runs Turtle Boy Daily News. He's a journalist from Boston. That's why he's my uncle. <laughs> How dumb do you gotta be to talk to minors online? It wasn't even minors online. It was a minor in the dance studio where this guy teaches classes. So it's a minor that he had access to in real life. And that's probably how he got the Snapchat. Chat, please don't send unsolicited dong pics to your local senator. Also, don't call your senator and call them a candy ass. <laughs> we should really bring back public lashing and executions. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. And I'm going to I'm going to apologize one more time here. When I was when I was scrolling the Turtle Boy website, I was trying to look for information on the Canton cover up that he's on. And this doesn't have the Canton cover up like pre precursor to the article title. But for some reason, when I read the article title, I thought it was like the politician people trying to fucking smear Turtle Boy as a pedo. So I read it completely wrong. 
I don't, I'm sorry for that. I don't, I don't like, I don't like accidentally putting out incorrect information chat. It makes me feel bad. <laughs> the only senator I respect is Armstrong. Man, the evolution of Jen McCabe's stories to police about what Karen Reed said, Jen McCabe's ever-changing story, post-commission updates list to add Michael Proctor is certified two days after we reported he wasn't on the list. This is more of the dance instructor that's different. Camden High School yearbook project reveals why Brian Albert never worried about dumping a dead body on his front lawn. What the fuck? Michael Proctor is not listed as a certified police officer. A woman behind anti-Karen Reed Twitter account identified as a U.S. Attorney's Office legal assistant, Karen Price of East Bridgewater. That's really weird. Yuri Bukinex, brother, is friends with Surprise, Brian and Kevin. Wife is friends with Aaron. Boss played football with Paul. Maybe this one will give me context. Guys. Uncle Turtle Boy is an honest to goodness mud racking journalist from Boston, and we all love him for it. I love, I love Dr. Uncle Turtle Boy. <laughs> Why he's called Uncle Turtle Boy. This is my uncle. My it's bad. canon now. He doesn't what, know uh, it, but he's, he's now my uncle. You can also like to donate cash app is dollar sign Uncle Turtle Boy, or you can donate. Uh, <laughs> on, by... This is my first time ever seeing him. So quite literally, I didn't know he was called Uncle Turtle Boy. So immediately after I made the joke that he was my uncle and then he brings up the cash app Uncle Turtle Boy, it was just, it was just perfect. Okay, all right. <laughs> How is he gonna hit me with the Uncle Turtle Boy after I say he's my uncle? Holy fuck. This is my uncle. Ah, uh, the nuked VOD. Yeah, he nuked me because he called uh, some politician in Boston. I can't remember. Maybe, I think it might have been a comptroller. I can't remember who it was. But he called her and he left her a message where he called her a candy ass. So, the VOD, the VOD, this VOD is on my VOD channel. It should be live, like, right now. So the VOD exists on YouTube because you can say that word on YouTube. But you can't say it on Twitch. <laughs> Clairvoyance is a powerful ability. Yeah, right? You accidentally ran over a fox today. How do you redeem yourself? Uh, you could you you could use my stream elements link and you could donate money to me for my grieving period. I could be like that communist woman trying to make thousands of dollars off of her boyfriend's death. Now I can make thousands of dollars off of a fox death. <laughs> you can use candy ass on YouTube. Well, the VOD is still there, and I've seen other people use candy ass on YouTube, so, you know. That fox could have been Kirsch's mother. Well, he would have been doing me a favor if that was the case. <laughs> that was such a depressing event. What do you mean? All right, okay. So, Michael Proctor's gotten the majority of the coverage in our reporting on the cover-up of John O'Keefe's murder. But he couldn't have gotten away with what he's done for so long without the complicity of others. See, I was I was right. He he is saying it was a police officer who actually uh, ran over John O'Keefe and murdered him. And they're trying to pin it on John O'Keefe's uh, girlfriend instead. Is what his uh, his thing is. Use the code candy. At, oh, my God. Missed opportunity, honestly. <laughs> sweet sauce is too hardcore for an insult for Twitch. What is a sweet sauce? I've never heard of that. How butter soft does the internet become when candy ass is a possible problem? Candy ass is what I'm using to replace the slur that I can't say. Back, back in my day, uh, the board called 4chan used to replace slurs with funny words. And it was amusing, not because they were pro-censorship, but because it was funny. <laughs> Fucking hag. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> you fucking candy ass Rudy Poo. <laughs> it's how we got weeaboo. Oh god. I uh, even even if it was newer, I still like I still like the, the TBH fam getting autoed into fucking Desu Senpai. <laughs> Rudy Poo, such a funny word filter it is. I, I wanted for so long to be able to word filter my Discord like that. Like, instead of having just a whole ass ban on slurs, if somebody typed the slur, it would auto filter it to something else. 
But unfortunately, Discord does not come with that capability. I tried. I had other people try. You can't do it. <laughs> Make Kirsch's cherry candy ass. Your gamer subs filter. Oh my god. Uh, on a site you went on, candy ass was auto-censored to Ron Paul hater for a time. What the fuck? <laughs> That's really weird. You word swap slurs to avoid being deplatformed. You word swap slurs because it amuses me. We are not the same. <laughs> You're gonna be eating candy ass for months then? What the fuck was gently caress? I don't remember what gently re re caress replaced, but I do remember that as well. <laughs> Like, Company of Heroes 2 swear word filter? Oh my god, probably rape. Probably rape, maybe. What the lovingly caress. <sighs> Rev says TBH. <laughs> oh my god, gently caress replaced fuck. Okay, alright. In particular, his Sergeant Yuri was with him for most of the interviews, but with the Alberts and McCabe's and their Lieutenant Brian Tully signed off on all their reports. I would not be able to, like, do any sort of justice to all of the, all of the information here, because again, Do Dr. Turtle Boy here is on, like, part 180 of covering this story, and now, now he's gotten arrested for witness intimidation, I guess. Back in my day, we called it a struggle snuggle. Wasn't Egg Duck the original one? I don't remember. I don't remember. The candy ass and Rudy Pooh are just what stuck with me because they were so fucking funny. Overwatch doing that was a rare example of them being funny. Imagine. Even a broken clock. Even a broken clock, chat. You say fella because it's better than saying a slur because anyone could be a fella. Oh my god. Should you send this to Rackets? Uh, I mean, you could. I don't know. I don't know if he would care unless he could have a bikini woman on screen at the same time as he talked about it. Manhattan-based nonprofit announces assembling of legal team to pursue possible lawsuit for wrongful arrest of Turtle Boy. On Wednesday, I was illegally arrested, illegally had my house and car searched, and illegally had my phone and computer stolen from me by the same corrupt cops I've been exposing. I thank everyone who has donated to our legal defense fund as we have raised over 38 k already. You can donate by clicking here. I'm assembling a legal team that is best suited to defend this case aggressively in court, because I won't allow them to do this to me. Not only will I be aggressively defending myself in court, but we will also be going on the offensive and suing many of the parties involved in this gross miscarriage of justice. Elizabeth Dombrowski is the executive director of Good Counsel Services, a Manhattan-based 501c3. She's agreed to lead strategy and assemble a legal team to support what may be a comprehensive civil lawsuit involving many of the people involved in my illegal arrest. This could include, but not limited to, Norfolk Suffolk Court Judge Daniel O'Shea, who issued a warrant to search my property and seize my devices despite a lack of evidence of witness intimidation, MSP Lieutenant Brian Tully, who applied for the criminal complaint against me for reporting on his involvement in the cover-up of John O'Keefe's murder, the clerk magistrate who wrongly found probable cause in the criminal complaint filed by Lieutenant Tully, District Attorney Michael Morrissey, whose office agreed to hire a special prosecutor who has never prosecuted a case before to prosecute me for the crime of exposing corruption in his office. You might not like me personally or agree with my politics, but everyone should be outraged and terrified about how the Commonwealth is abusing its power to violate the civil rights of Karen Reed and now me. The only crime I have committed is being too effective at exposing corruption. They know that everyone is watching them, and they're still this brazen to arrest and charge me with a crime that anyone with a basic understanding of the law knows I didn't commit. They took free speech and free press and turned it into an absurd, baseless witness intimidation charge. They use those baseless charges to obtain access to a person's most private and intimate possessions, their home, their computer, and their phone. They have the ability to see every picture I ever took, read sensitive information about medical records, dock sources who helped reach out to me in confidence, and much more. They took apart every drawer and went through every bag and piece of luggage in my house. They violated all of our property rights in order to protect the individuals who've covered up the murder of John O'Keefe. I'm not putting up with it. It's not enough to simply defend myself and be fully exonerated of these charges. They have violated my civil rights and we will not allow them to get away with that. Is this about the Patriot Act? <laughs> so, he's been covering uh, a, a murder case where 
he believes that police officers are covering up for one of their own and also politicians are covering up for the police force in the in the local Canton area uh, because one of the police officers is who actually committed the murder and they're trying to pin it on the murders got murdered guy's girlfriend instead I do not have the facts of this case so I I do not know as much as he does and it would take me a very long time to go through all 180 updates that he has here. I do not have time to do that on the stream. I, I just I just do not. And I, th I think that's understandable. <laughs> so, like, I, I would like to follow this a little bit closer and, and see where this goes. Because, like, if he's actually exposing this level of corruption and they are brazenly going after him here, that is fucked up. And it should, like he said intimidate and scare people that their government feels like they have the power to do this and nobody will stop them the truth is only what everyone believes not what actually happened it sounds like uncle turtle boy is on to something yeah uh, yeah i'm i'm glad i'm glad and i hopefully we'll see where his uh lawsuit goes i see his tweets every so often but obviously a tweet is not going to convey uh a lot of fucking information Stadies and mass are the worst fucking cunts. Local PD are bad, but the stadies are just the worst. But does he like turtles? He probably does. Based Uncle Turtle Boy going after the glowies? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'd like to believe. So we'll have to we'll have to see. We'll have to see. How dare they go after Jimmy Olsen like this? <laughs> Do they know whose best friend he is? What? <laughs> I'll never understand why Twitch copy paste sometimes fucks up like this. I also don't know. I also don't know why it fucks up sometimes. <laughs> Build a wall around Massachusetts and make the mass holes pay for it. Massachusetts used to be a nice place. It used to be a good place, chat. It used to be a good place. Speaking of being a good place. Speaking of being a good place. The thing that I wanted to tangent on. We're about we're about an hour and a half into stream and I'm finally getting to the tabs that that I had planned. <laughs> You wonder what happened to the drunk driving city official? Yeah, you wonder. Eh. How many tangents are we on now? Yes. <laughs> a black mountain climber ruined a man's career with false accusations of racism. Lawsuit states. This was uh this was on October third, so you know I'm a little I'm a little late to the party, but like the tangents chat they flow. A man says his career and reputation in the outdoor adventure industry were destroyed when a high-profile mountain climber sponsored by North Face falsely claimed on social media that the man directed racist comments at him in a bar, according to a Monday lawsuit obtained exclusively by the Daily Wire. The lawsuit alleges that Jonathan Talbot, a former employee of outdoor apparel company Outdoor Research, lost his job after the climber, a black man named Manoa Ainu, used social media to not only allege that Talbot made racial comments or racist comments and tried to fight him, but also pressure Outdoor Research to terminate him. It wasn't until hours after Talbot and Ainu had a conversation at a bar in Bozeman, Montana, that Ainu posted at 3 a.m. on his Instagram with allegations that Talbot was a racist. The lawsuit from America First Legal states, The professional climber said in a series of videos that Talbot came up to introduce himself and asked questions about diversity in the sport, but that it became clear in the conversation that Talbot was a racist. I hope there are repercussions, ideally an extermination. One post from Ainu Charges, also bemoaning Talbot's alleged gaslighting, toxic masculinity, and white guilt. The post also alleges that Talbot attempted to fight Ainu, reshare and tag outdoor research so this boy has consequences for his actions. Another post from Ainu, and reviewed by the Daily Wire, read, Our outdoor microcosm can't have people like this. The post tagging outdoor research called on all his followers to demand that Talbot be fired, and suggest that if they didn't comply, they were racist too. A, all my majority, white followers slash allies, I knew wrote in text on one video, this is your call out. My flesh really wanted to educate John. Self-control is draining and exercised too often. Please help me take care of this boy. I can see if you watch and don't share whether from uncomfortability or apathy. Man has a perceived slight, says he had to practice self-restraint to not fucking punch the guy out, 
and then says, white people, it's your fault I have to practice this restraint. So you're also racist if you don't try to get this white man fired. And I tried to scroll this guy's Instagram and find the video. Unfortunately, he seems to have scrubbed the video from his Instagram. And I couldn't find it anywhere else. There was no archive of his Instagram. Uh, there was no archive of the video that I could find. I couldn't find it re-uploaded anywhere on YouTube. However, Daddy Matt Walsh coming fucking in clutch Imagine here. He has the video. Executive at the North Face, which is ostensibly an outdoor recreation company. It's June to Instagram. Watch. Hey, yo, outdoor research. I'm not even playing, man. This guy, John, he came up to me, introduced himself, said, you look like someone I should know. It was at a bar at the Crystal, which I often frequent. A lot of my friends are there or work there. And this guy came up to me and then started talking all this stuff, started asking questions, very directed at diversity. <laughs> and I answered honestly, and um, he kept cutting me off, didn't want to hear what he was wanting to hear, but what he was asking for which is very, very obvious. So when I started to check him on it and correct him and direct him and educate his ass for free, for free, for free, for free, for free, he got very defensive. So I said, yo, we're done talking. Conversation is over, bro. I told you the truth. Don't cut me off while I'm talking. If you're asking, you're not listening and you're asking very big red flag back up i went inside he came inside tried to shake my hand and i was like yo you're apologizing he just started apologizing over and over again and i'm like if you're apologetic buy me a beer at least that's the minimum you could do and right after that he squared up to me got right in my face like this and he's like i didn't do anything wrong how do you apologize and say you don't do anything wrong within like five seconds? Oh, because you're not truly apologetic. So this guy, John, who designs product, there's something for you guys OR. Please check him. This guy's tripping. He's racist. So let's recap. So that's that's the video. Thank, thanks for thanks for having the video, Matt Walsh, because I could not find it anywhere. Skewky said stories are deleted after 24 hours by default. I don't know how Instagram works, so maybe it's deleted by default. Maybe maybe it wasn't like a regular upload video. Maybe maybe it was the one that gets deleted. I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm glad the video is saved at least ah, help somewhere. I'm sorry you're such a butter soft bitch. That story really didn't make much sense. And that's the story. That's the story. Again, if like I open my browser here. This is this is the one. This is the one we just watched. This is the one that he's using to say that everybody should contact that white guy's employer, Outdoor Research, and get him fired or they're racist. And everyone clapped. <laughs> the post served their intended purpose, the lawsuit states. Dave Burleson, who was the global senior athlete coordinator for North Face at the time of the incident, shared iNews post and reiterated the call to cancel Talbot. At Outdoor Research, please hold your employee, John, that is in Bozeman right now, accountable, Burleson wrote, adding, to the racists in the outdoor industry, we will find you and we will remove you. Can you imagine being such an oppressed and downtrodden minority that a global senior coordinator for the company you work for will retweet your bullshit story with no evidence and no proof to get another man fired from his job? Can you imagine having that much power as someone who is supposedly oppressed? Just hours later, Outdoor Research ordered Talbot to leave Bozeman and return to company headquarters. The company also responded in a social media post of its own, writing that it came to our attention that there was a verbal exchange last night in Bozeman, Montana, between at a dreaded climber, which is the, the black guy in the video we just watched, I knew, I forgot his name momentarily, and an outdoor research employee. The company's post says it does not support or tolerate discriminatory conduct based on race or any other reason, and we take these matters very seriously. 
This is this is the man's company. They recalled him from doing work and told him to come the fuck home based off of that weird ass vague ass video of someone just claiming he was a racist. No proof, no evidence, just saying he was a racist. Outdoor research on their Instagram. Through direct messages and story tagging today, it came to our attention that there was a verbal exchange last night in Bozeman between a dreaded climber and an OR employee. For those that have met, messaged our social accounts, emailed us, and contacted customer service, you are heard. Outdoor research does not support or tolerate discriminatory conduct based on race or any other reason, and we take these matters very seriously. We hope to get the chance to speak to Manoa directly about what transpired. Why would you want to talk to the man making the accusations? This is what I fucking hate about companies as well. And why I actually agreed with Dylan Mulvaney on one fucking point during the entire Bud Light fiasco. This company should be supporting their employee. Not listening to baseless accusations without evidence. Slandering their employee calling them hiring a racist they should be saying there's no evidence fuck you you have no power here you can't go against black people's word it's just it's more absurd than the like believe all women bullshit the fact the fact that someone can be like yeah i had a conversation with this guy in a bar he was a racist and then you lose your fucking job Employer loyalty in current year? Tell me more hilarious jokes. Yeah, I know, it's like a fucking pipe dream. But it still gets me... angry. Be because these, these companies would rather bend the knee to baseless accusations so they can collect their fucking good boy points on social media. I like, is, is this a repercussion of, like, ESG? Or is, or is this just typical company cuckery? Like, I can't, I can't even decide. You're just a replaceable gear to them? I mean, everyone is replaceable, but like, the fact that people who want to go around playing the Everything is racist, I'm discriminated against, I've, I need reparations, I'm so poor, downtrodden, and powerless in this white supremacist system that systemically discriminates against me. Your word without evidence can ruin someone's entire fucking life. You have a literal fucking Thanos snap ability to put it into terms you guys can understand on the progressive side of the aisle. There is, there is nothing, there is nothing a white person can say that would just immediately get someone of another race fired without evidence. Nothing. Uh, I just, I, 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 Fox is fired up, hot damn. It just, it pisses me off. Rape accusations seem to work. Yeah, but the rape accusations are typically to white men. <laughs> that's a whole other can of worms that is also a fucking problem. Unless it was a white woman. Oh my god. Today's CEOs are either Zoomers or tech illiterate boomers, both having a knee-jerk reaction. It just, it makes me pissed. Right? Because, like, while I am in danger of getting deplatformed and getting banned by Twitch and having, like, fucking Twitter freaks try and run a cancel campaign on me, I am not in a position of these other people who are working more traditional jobs, more normal jobs, to just have their entire life ran through on on social media with baseless accusations at least in my case at least in my case if i try to get cancelled i have vods i have video footage i have i have actual context to what i said i have a way to defend myself what is this fucking guy supposed to do what what is he supposed to do say i i that didn't happen that's not what happened who's gonna fucking believe him who's gonna care There's that woman that got accused of trying to steal a bike from a bunch of black dudes. You don't think a white woman wins in racism accusations? Yeah, no. They were trying to take her bike and they were intimidating her. I got mad when I read that story as well. 
Like you're a fucking cop on duty. Wear a body ca- Yeah, like uh, that's what it's coming to. Uh, like you're just gonna have to wear a fucking body cam at all times to protect yourself from accusations of like fucking racism and rape. <laughs> We're human beings, but we make shit up. Are people gonna have to record themselves anytime they go outside? Yeah, it seems fucking like it. It seems fucking like it. Bold to think that YouTube and Twitch wouldn't delete all of that shit in a cancellation. I mean, if my channel goes down, none of the stuff on my channel is accessible. But that's why I'm thankful I have people like Ziz and like Tamarin who archive every single one of my streams. Tam Tamarin doesn't even have to be here to archive, but he set up an auto archiver. So even in the event that like Ziz's archiver fails, Tamarin's archiver is working without any human input. Everyone needs a fucking body cam. <laughs> Tam smart. You're too lazy to figure out how to be smart. <laughs> I appreciate the both of you nonetheless. You've literally- you've seen some guys say the weird children should literally be flayed and tortured publicly so they don't become school shooters and you're not gonna say what it makes you think. What the fuck? KB's been doing a lot of archiving too. Oh, well thank you KB. I don't- I don't know if people start archiving unless I'm told so. <laughs> Dash cams have saved people's lives and monies? Yeah, exactly. Like, just, just reading about this shit makes me incredibly upset. Like, just... How, how can you believe baseless accusations? And, like... Even if the accusations have merit to them, right? They appear baseless and they should be taken as baseless until shown proof. You should not believe things without verifying for yourself. Which, as angry as it made you guys do... When, like, SFO came to stream chat, I wasn't just gonna believe everything you guys were saying in chat without you showing me any evidence of what you were saying, right? And it's like, it's not because- it's not because I'm telling you you're lying. It's because I want to make sure I have correct information. Innocent until proven guilty, no matter who. Yeah, exactly. Slander is a crime and it should be treated as such. Prison for life. Yeah, the, the white guy who got fired, I can't remember these people's names for the life of me. The white guy who got fired, thankfully, is bringing a court case for wrongful termination and hopefully for slander. We're going to keep reading. <laughs> the concept of objective facts is racist. Well, goddamn, if I want objective facts before I believe shit, call me a racist. <laughs> yes, for body cams, for people in power. You saw that Best Buy sells body cams now? It makes sense! It's not about believing for companies, it's about public relations. Once they get backlash, they have all the incentives to not care about the guy. I mean, yeah, they can just throw him under the bus, they get rid of someone that people were angry about, and they get public good boy points at the same time. And, like, I, I know and understand that companies genuinely do not give a single fucking shit about you. But if you're an employee at a company, like, the base expectation is that if someone says shit about you without evidence, your company, instead of terminating you, should tell the person accusing you to fuck off. They'll care when you- <laughs> Don't glow too hard! <laughs> human resources doesn't protect the employees, but the company itself- Yeah, human resources has never been there for you. Human resources is there to figure out how to take what you said and protect the company. They don't care. Talbot told the Daily Wire that the allegations against him are false and that a later investigation by Outdoor Research confirmed it. I want to make it unequivocally clear that I neither engaged in offensive behavior nor made racially biased comments, said Talbot, <laughs> help, whose friends have resorted to a GoFundMe fundraising campaign to help his family. I am so fucking pissed. I am so fucking pissed. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Oh, man. Is there a link to it in this article? Is there a link? I need a, I need a link to that fucking GoFundMe, dude. I brought it up on stream before. This article doesn't have a link to it. This article doesn't have a link to it. Does this article have a link to it? 
This is, no, that's not a link to it. That's not a link to it. That's not a link to it. This article doesn't have a link to the GoFundMe. Stroke? Uh, let's see. This Reddit, does this Reddit post have a link to the GoFundMe? No, this Reddit post does not have a link to the GoFundMe. It just has an image of the GoFundMe. Why are people like this? Why are people fucking like this? Does this have a link to the GoFundMe? If I can zero hedge? No, this doesn't have a link. No, no, no. The GoFundMe page? Okay, they do have a link. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking zero hedge for finally having a link. This man. This man that was falsely accused of being a racist had a hate campaign sent to his company to get him fired has raised only $3,757. And again, this happened on... This article I was reading was on October 3rd. He's only raised $3,700 for being wrongfully accused of being a racist and losing his job because of it. And that vile fucking cunt of a woman who watched her boyfriend get murdered in New York, who set up a GoFundMe so that her friends and her can take time off of work and not even mention the funeral expenses for the man that she claimed to love, raised 73 fucking thousand dollars! If you needed any, like, actual physical proof that justice doesn't fucking exist anymore, this is it. This is fucking it. A GoFundMe of a communist grifter who is a heartless piece of shit has raised $73,000. And a man who has been wrongfully accused and terminated from his job and slandered online is now having to fight in the legal system to clear his name, which won't matter. He's still gonna have a black mark on his name, even if he gets cleared in the court system. Has only raised $3,700. <laughs> oh my god. The worst part was the body wasn't even cold by the time the girlfriend's GoFundMe went up. If she had even mentioned, like, funeral costs or, like, costs of taking care of, like, the aftermath of it, that would have been fine. But it was just, it was just, my friends and I need time off of work. I'm so fucking angry, dude. Americans made me racist. <laughs> oh, fuck. You bet she was making it on her phone as she was hovering over the body? I wouldn't fucking doubt it. Only white pills here. Also, Kirsha, proof there's no justice. You... If you want justice to exist, you have to figure out how to change this fucking system that we're in. Not... Not Obama's change. Not, not the change that Antifa and Black Lives Matter want for this country. Actual fucking change. You're waiting for the bubble to pop and all of this shit to backfire hard. That's just really fucking upsetting, dude. This account is to help our friend John Talbot overcome the sudden loss of his career. On June 20th in Bozeman, Montana, John was unfairly and illegally screamed at as racist in a public setting for mentioning his past work on a DEI committee. It's diversity, equity, and inclusion. As anyone who knows John and his advocacy work in this area for well over a decade, these allegations are unfounded, untrue, and defamatory. John subsequently lost his dream job at one of the few major outdoor brands in the USA. The social media mob riled up by this North Face climber labeled him as a racist online, and now recruiters in the outdoor space cannot and will not work with him to find a new role. His career and livelihood has been destroyed, 17 years of work and passion. This is all in litigation, and until this is resolved, John has no income and no ability to pay bills, pay a mortgage, or help with his two young children, or even his rescue dog, Daisy. And, and I would like to say, since he had past work as a DEI committee, John, John, my friend, I hope you realize now that all of your work on that DEI committee was complete and utter bullshit. You were lied to, and you, 
I hope don't actually believe in any of the shit you were peddling. Because it is shit, and you were peddling. You weren't doing anything. You weren't making a difference. You weren't, you weren't contributing to the overall good in the world. I don't think you deserve to lose your career because you've been lied to and told that you're making a difference by pushing DEI initiatives. But I hope this can be a learning experience for you and that you will not be cared about. Your work does not matter. You are expendable and you are pushing an ideology that is harmful to everyone. destroyed by his own creation. I, I'd like to give people the benefit of the doubt when it comes to being on committees for this shit, right? Because there's always the chance that these aren't the people who aren't willfully lying to you. They are just the ones who have been lied to and are the useful idiots. Useful idiots push the same ideology as those who are maliciously lying to you and know what they're doing. But the useful idiots do it because they don't know better. Your sympathy for him has vanished. And I don't blame you guys if you don't have sympathy. I definitely don't. I definitely don't. Because I understand. I understand the, the wanting to blanket absolutely everyone. Like, if you push this, fuck you. Fuck you. You don't always volunteer to be on committees? I don't know the extent of his work. <laughs> Even when they know better, they don't become useful for good. They could. If they realize what they're doing is inherently bad. Why don't they take their own damn advice and educate themselves? I am not smart enough to know how to deprogram people who have been propagandized. If, if you're someone who is putting work into diversity, equity, and inclusion, you are either maliciously lying or you have been propagandized and you believe what you're pushing even though it's not real. Why is the powerful truth out of stock right now? You use a hammer. Oh my god. He does reap what he's taken part in sowing. He didn't deserve it, but it's kind of a poetic outcome. No, I agree. I definitely agree. He is, he is absolutely, since he worked on DEI, reaping what he has sown. He has absolutely pushed the policies that have put himself in this position. It is partially his fault, even if he is a useful idiot. I don't think he deserved to lose his job. I don't think he deserves to be slandered. I don't think he deserves to have to be in litigation that won't even help him because he's now a black mark in his industry. I don't think he deserves it if he is one of the useful idiots and not someone who is willfully lying. We really need to program DEI to D-I-E. You're getting you to start saying D-E-I. Never use their terminologies. It is, it is die. It is die initiatives. Shame that the kids have to suffer for his bad choices. It is. It really is. It really is. There's a defamation lawsuit against the black climber. Yes, there is. That That is mentioned in the article. He helped build the system that ruined him. And that that is something else that Bezmanov has said. That the, these people who have been programmed in this way to think these things, even if you show them facts, if you show them in black and white what they're actually doing, the damage that they are causing, they won't believe it. The only time that their worldview will be shattered, that their programming will be ground to a halt, is when the boot is finally on their neck. Will they realize the damage that they have done? And that all that they believed in was a fairy tale. So the only, the only way that these people can learn what they're doing is bad is for something like what happened to John, unfortunately, to happen. And if, if he still believes in these DEI initiatives after this, there's no fucking helping someone like that, dude. Seeing it in real time with every leftist that takes the pro-Palestine stance, I do not understand that, man. Like, see, seeing progressives take the pro-Palestine stance is just fucking wild to me. Like, it makes sense. It makes sense that they would take that. Because to them, Jews are white and Jews are colonizers, so they're supporting the people who are supposedly brown and downtrodden, right? Uh, so, like, it, it makes sense in, like, their clouded, weird ideology that has to go through a million mental hoops. But, like, who the fuck is supporting Hamas? Even, uh, even Tara Reid. 
Tara Reid. Tara Strong. I get them confused all the time. Which one's the fucking voice actor? Why do they have such similar names? <laughs> Why do they have such similar fucking names? Strong, thank you, chat. Tara Strong got, uh, recused from her most recent project. She was- she was excommunicated spicy from the project she was working on. And she found out via Twitter! They didn't even tell her! They- they fired her on Twitter, is how she found out. And it was because she- she liked- she didn't even retweet something. She didn't even type something herself. She liked a post saying, essentially, that, like, Hamas is- is Islam, which is a problem. And she got fired for that. <laughs> and it's just like, god damn. And like, I know- I know people are not gonna feel bad for her. Skewki reminded me of her, like, getting a fucking Uber driver fired. But it's still, like, it's still amusing to me how the progressives are now fucking Ouroborosing around the new conflict. You support every inclusive I in initiative that exterminates humanity? I fucking hate people this much! <laughs> Tara Strong is Jewish too. Yeah, she used that defense. She was like, I, I'm Jewish and you're firing me for talking out against Hamas. And then the fucking creators of the project she was working on pulled an Uno reverse card and they were like, we're Jewish too and we support Palestine. And I was like, what the fuck is even happening anymore? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Rashida Tlaib literally hung a Palestinian. Oh. That sounds bad now. Literally hung a Palestinian flag outside her office and apparently laughed when she learned about the attacks. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Clown world. There's an old Jewish story about a rabbi building a golem to best all their enemies. Long story short, they get arrogant and become too reliant on the golem and eventually it goes berserk and crushes them all too. What the heck? What the heck? I don't know that story. <laughs> I don't know that story. You don't know, but China's new plan is to sit back and watch the world burn. <laughs> China's been colonizing Africa for like 15 years now. The, the Chinese have been going in and rebuilding the infrastructure that European settlers left behind that was left in disrepair. They've been building up towns. They've been creating a workforce of Chinese people. They've been taking the African-American women and breeding them. They've been displacing the African-American men. This has been happening, but nobody fucking cares when China's the colonist. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You can explain this briefly. There is a conflict between the secular and Orthodox Jews. Secular Jews support Palestine because it undermines the Orthodox Jewish government in Israel. The progressive establishment is heavily intertwined with many secular Jewish figures. What the heck? What the heck? They're trying to rebuild. Shit gets stolen all the time. Do you think I'd get DMCA'd if I played Empire of Dust on Twitch? I don't I don't think that's DMCA-able, is it? ESL moment. <laughs> African? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. That was an ESL moment. I did the thing that Americans are wont to do. <laughs> As I've I've made fun of that before as well. Like people people in America will call black people in like the UK African American because they're just so used to using African American as a replacement for black people. <laughs> I'm so actual Africans, not African Americans. <laughs> Whoops! I did- I did the burger people thing! <laughs> Thank you, chat. I appreciate it when you correct my ESL. <laughs> In the UK, they're B-A-M-E or U-K-G-M-R or something awful like that. What the fuck? You're from the UK, you never heard that shit in your life? <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, people in America will call black people who live in the UK African-American. Because in America, you get used to using African-American as like a catch-all term for black people. And black people in the UK aren't African-American because they're not American. <laughs> so it makes no sense to call a black person in the UK an African-American. But it's just like, you get... You get so used to using it as a replacement that sometimes you fucking misspeak like I just did and called actual Africans African-American. <laughs> oh my god. Lots of white Africans too. Yeah, 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 there are. I'm not, I'm not saying they don't exist. 
they're not African and they're not American. Double assumptions by double asshats. That's that's also true. If you're if you're like a, a black person from the Dominican Republic, you're not African American, but you're gonna get called that in the United States. Unironic brainwashing, yeah. You've completely cut African American out of your vocabulary. I don't I don't know if I could do that, man. That'd be really fucking hard. Blacks are called the original British in the UK. That's true. That's true and real. Oh my god. Can't just call them American because you gotta make sure the population is divided and angry so they can't stand against the government. That's true. Isn't Elon African? He is. He is South African. It's two times the ass. That's a big dumpy. <laughs> Completely cut it out of yours. Fuck that noise. I mean, I probably should. Considering it is programmed language, and it, it just doesn't make sense in almost any context. <laughs> You're a black Central American. Nobody knows you exist. Yeah, that's true. I forgot Central America was a thing. <laughs> Holy moly, what did you miss? Hello, paper guides. Could be a style guide thing in some instances, like how you couldn't say foreign on Turner Own Network, so you had to wrestle commentators saying international object. What the fuck? <laughs> Great granddaddy had a word for those, but it wasn't African American. Please don't type out slurs in my chat. Here in the UK, it's black when they're citizens and Asian when they commit crimes. I I thought it, I thought Asian was the word used for Middle Eastern men who committed crimes. Like how like how they'll call like Pakistanis and like Syrians Asian, because like geography wise, yeah, I guess they're in Asia, but like they're not Asian. <laughs> I remember when I learned that, like, the UK did word replacement like that, and I was like, that's fucking weird. That's fucking weird. And so many people, when I would bring that up as being weird, they were just like, you're just being a conspiracy theorist. They're just using Asian because they want to be geographically correct. Like, just because they're Pakistani doesn't mean they're not Asian because they live in Asia. And it's like, what would you call a fucking Russian person Asian? Like, what the fuck do you mean? What the fuck? You can't gaslight me. Dumb whore. <laughs> Nobody who says Asian thinks of anything that isn't like Far East Asia, right? <laughs> that shit's intentional. Yeah, you can't convince me it's not. Russians are the snow Asians. Oh my god, we found the real snow bunnies after all. <laughs> Fuck this, I'm going back to using Oriental. Yes, racist! <laughs> Wouldn't you call a Russian European, or would you call a Canadian American since they're from North America? Yeah, that's that's exactly what it was like. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Holy shit. You occasionally use subcontinental. <laughs> let me let me finish trying to get through this fucking unfortunate man's firing. I read I read this with GoFundMe campaign. Talbot was fired not because of any wrongdoing, but because of public relations, he says. I was not terminated due to any proven wrongdoing. Instead, it was deemed a measure to protect the company's brand, Talbot said. Again, if he's working on the fucking die initiatives, uh, this is something that he is now reaping from what he has sown. This, this is what his initiatives will bring, and I hope he has learned that. Ian Pryor, a senior advisor for America First Legal, says Talbot is the victim of a smear campaign. Until that fateful day in Bozeman, Montana, when Jonathan Talbot politely introduced himself to a North Face-sponsored athlete, Manoa Ainu, he had a career, a reputation, and the belief that he would keep both, Pryor said. Unfortunately, that single encounter led to the destruction of Talbot's career and reputation, all due to a social media smear campaign launched by Ainu based on a false and defamatory claim that Talbot had made a racist comment. Pryor added that the North Face shares blame for the destruction of Talbot. To make matters worse, this action is in line and was endorsed by the North Face, whose commitment to social justice seems to lack an appreciation for either what is appropriate social behavior and what is justice. And shit like this, like the North Face is probably the most popular outdoor wear brand in New England. I have like a North Face fucking jacket from high school that I still wear. It's very soft and very fuzzy and it's my favorite color of blue. And like I would I would feel shame to wear a North Face product out in public in current year based on how this company has acted in like the last 8 or so. North Face is everywhere. They're everywhere, but they are like the number one selling in in the Northeast. North Face is for rich people. <laughs> That's just not true. You can get them on sale pretty cheaply. 
Like, uh, especially if you go to, like, Macy's. All right, okay, if you go to Macy's and they have, like, their big fucking one-day sales or, like, their Black Friday sales, you can get, like, a $150 North Face jacket for, like, 40 bucks. I get That's pretty fucking cheap. You've heard nothing about North Face ever, but you do see people wear it a lot at work. I've read a couple of articles about North Face over the years on stream. Macy's, who the fuck goes to malls? You like malls? North Face is extremely woke and the founder's widow is one of the largest DNC donors. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like my North Face jacket. It was bought for me by my parents, but I still like it. Or my parents, I mean my dad. <laughs> you got your $150 North Face jacket new from the charity shop. Mm -hmm. Privileged Fox Ree! <laughs> North Face's douchebag apparel where you grew up. I was the poorest person in a very well-to-do area, so. <laughs> You're north of Mass, there's no Macy's here. A Vorpal man, I wish you would check out a place called the Rockingham Mall in Plastow, New Hampshire, where there is a Macy's, which is north of Massachusetts. Get fucked! <laughs> I never see North Face anywhere, just some Columbia and body armor. Oh, well that's weird. I don't think I've ever seen body armor. Like, uh, when I was growing up. That's in Nashua. Like, Rockingham Mall's in Plastow. That's not in Nashua. It's in fucking Plastow. 90s mall aesthetic Kino. Yeah. My East Coast is showing. <laughs> Woke shit is just unintelligible ideology and self-righteous social justice. Is there one in both? I don't know what the fucking Nashua mall is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up. I hate, I hate, I hate not having proof. Hold on. Rocking, ro Rockingham Mall. Oh, it's in Salem. It's in, we were both wrong. <laughs> it's in Salem. We were we were both wrong. It's near Plastow. It's near Plastow. <laughs> Kirsha making shit up again. Rocking Rockingham Rockingham Mall. It's in Salem, New Hampshire. It's in Salem. <laughs> Kier the Macy's got replaced by a Sears. Did it? Did it? Does it not have a Macy's anymore? Did they remove the Macy's? Why were they- Why were they- Wait, the- Wait, the Rockingham Mall used to have a Sears, and the Sears got removed. Hold on. So it might as well be in Mass. <laughs> you said you lived in North of Mass! What did that- What, what do you mean? <laughs> Two Mass holes try to prove a point. Both are wrong. Everything is so fucking close together up there that it just blends fucking together. <laughs> it just blends fucking together, man. Fucking Rockingham Mall. Do not access my location. Rocking Rockingham Mall. I want May May Macy. I can't spell help Macy. I know it's still here. The Macy's is still here. Skewky, try to fucking gaslight me. Try to fuck. Is there any information on my location here? There's not. Yeah, fucking Macy's. Ma the mall at Rockingham Park. Macy's. I don't. You know why I know this Macy's is here? I used to work at this Macy's. I would drive. Half an hour plus ba both ways in the snow to get to my job at the Macy's. <laughs> Sears was incredibly incompetent even back when you worked at it. So you're not surprised to see it went out of business. <laughs> Sears doesn't exist anymore. They went bankrupt. Oh, well, Bed Bath & Beyond went bankrupt and they still exist. I bought I bought a kitchen mat from them like a month ago. <laughs> you can't spell uphill both ways. Did I get the company discount? Dude, the company discount was so fucking good. Because the company discount stacked on top of all of their regular sales. So I got so much shit for, like, dirt fucking cheap. Actual dirt fucking cheap. And, uh, I, I was well beloved by, like, the Armani representatives. So when I left my job, I got free bottles of perfume from them. <laughs> <sighs> And Kirsha worked at Macy's and then it goes bankrupt. Did Macy's go bankrupt? I don't follow these big stores going out of business, dude. But you know, there's still a Macy's in, in southern New Hampshire, which is basically northern Mass. Basically northern Mass. What was my wagey pay? Yours was terrible. It was like 8.35 when you quit. I don't fucking remember. That was so long ago, dude. That was so fucking long ago. <laughs> When you worked at Best Buy, you bought like a thousand feet of networking cable. When I when I worked at GameStop, I'm pretty sure when I worked at GameStop, my wage was like seven twenty five. But that was my first job, so it stuck in my head a bit more. 
You don't know if there's still one in Seattle, but it would make sense. It used to be the parades. God, that's so low! Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the 725 was the, the national minimum wage, not the not the state. Here in New Zealand, retail is alive and well. Fucking GameStop! GameStop was a weird job. I did not have the right shoes to be standing all day, but I was also just like a kid. So, you know. I wanted to work at GameStop because even as a child, my like savings brain was like, why don't I work somewhere where I'll actually be able to use the employee discount? I buy video games, and if I have an employee discount working at GameStop, I can buy video games cheaper. <laughs> it's upsetting that when you used to work at a hardware store, you were climbing up a 40-foot unsecured extension ladder to change light bulbs for eight fifty an hour. So pissed at young me for doing that. That's true. Ones you remember going bankrupt are Circuit City, Sears, Bed Bath & Beyond, KB Toys, and Toys R Us. I remember KB Toys going out of business because that's how we got two GameStops in the Rockingham Mall. Uh, when KB Toys got bought out by GameStop, uh, we had a GameStop on the second floor of the Rockingham Mall, and then the KB Toys on the first floor also became a GameStop. So we had a GameStop literally on top of a GameStop, and whenever one of the GameStops were out of stock from a certain game, they would just have one of us employees, like, walk to the other one and ask if they had any stock. <laughs> You've seen that in malls as well? Do the GameStops duke it out with each other? No, they work together. Uh, they bankrupt, but not Chapter 7, which is dispersing. All of those were Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which is reorganization when they run out of money. Oh, okay, okay. Having the two GameStops was funny. First floor GameStop was nicer, but the second floor one was right next to the food court, so easy. Yeah! The second one was wicked fucking small, too! It was like a claustrophobic GameStop. <laughs> Did the other GameStop have the battle toads? Jesus Christ. You guys couldn't make a phone call? No. Apparently it was faster to just send an employee to walk downstairs and check because, like, nobody answered phones. <laughs> there was, like, four GameStops in your town at one point, and there was one in the mall and one in the shopping center outside of the mall. Jeez, like, Jesus. Your mall lets you have two GameStops! Yeah, the Rockingham Mall used to have, like, a rainforest cafe. We had, like, a Sunoco... No, that's the gas station. Suncoast! We had a Suncoast video. Suncoast is where I would buy my... My Japanese animes and my Pocky. <laughs> there was a there was another store. There was another store along with Suncoast that I went to that also had like anime shit, but I can't remember what it was. I know FYE started carrying anime shit for a while. The Sun I'm pretty sure the Suncoast was like right next to a Pac Sun as well, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> you miss Suncoast and Sam Goody. No, it wasn't FYE. There was, like, another media store there. Wash it down with some Ramune. I actually don't like Ramune. It tasted fucking weird. Cole's Books has a shit ton of manga. We had a, uh... We had a Borders. It was a special Borders. It had, like, a subtitle. But I can't remember what the subtitle was. So, because, like, it was too small to be a real Borders. But it was still a Borders. And then it had, like, a thick line under Borders. And then, like, small text. And I can't remember- Borders Express! Oh my god, I love you! Yeah, that's what it was fucking called. Kirsha Dub confirmed! Oh my god, you can't say that in chat. Mo we need a moderator. We need a- we need a moderator to delete that comment. <laughs> you can't have that in chat. Can't have that in chat, mods! Mods, I'm screaming at you! Please! I don't want to have to time out this man because I don't know how to delete shit. <laughs> Wasn't Borders a victim of the 2008 crash? Yes. Yes, it was. Ramune is from Nihon, oh, so better! Jesus people. Christ. Bought so much manga from Borders back in the day. I sold a lot of my manga when I moved out of my home, because I needed money. I uh, but I kept- I kept the series that I really, <laughs> really liked. Kept- kept the series I really liked. I got you, homie! Thank you, Relia. <laughs> Send this man to the penis explosion factory! Do I see any borders from here? What has borders given us? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and we had, uh, we had a Sanrio store as well. Like, literally everything Hello Kitty and Hello Kitty adjacent. And, uh, there was a candy store in the mall. The candy store kept changing owners. And the last owner I remember for the candy store was an Indian family. And the man's accent was so thick, I could not understand anything he was fucking saying. Like, when his wife was working, it was fine, because, like, I could understand her. But when when the man was working, I could not understand him. 
<laughs> Accent too thick! Brain did not work! Explosion is a kindness. Penile flaying chamber for that dude. Jesus Christ. Those are the Patels. You went to high school with their son. I can't tell if you're joking or not. Do not redeem the Skittles. Weird dude named Mr. Wonka. Oh, for real? Okay. That's crazy how there's like a handful of people in my chat that like unironically grew up where I did. Small, small fucking world, you know? I love how any topic Kirsha goes on could be a 13 minute video. It should leave like a solid five seconds of breather before starting a new tangent so it can get spliced. I have been told by those who clip me that I am very hard to clip because I don't breathe. I just kind of keep fucking rolling. <laughs> You remember Bath and Body Works was your go-to whenever you had to buy a gift for women? They always had those variety baskets on sale. Yeah, exactly! I love Bath and Body Works. Every woman loves Bath and Body Works. I got you with the don't eat my toes, please. <laughs> Noob clippers just end when she laughs. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, she's doing the rap god every time she speaks. I did, I did the fast portion of rap god before. And I didn't even know that that song was by Eminem when people asked me to do it, is how little I knew about that song. <laughs> Bath and Body Works is still around. They are. Bath and Body Works and Bed Bath and Beyond are two different companies. Nothing to do with each other. Woman runs her own solo podcast before starting a vidya. Yeah. Your wife's still pissed they reformulated Forever Sunshine and it irritates her skin now. I, I like that they bring back old scents. I don't like that they repackage old scents with new names. Like, I get they do it because it's like, oh, wow, new thing, new thing hype. But like, I want old thing. Change hate. <laughs> okay, she's going to leave you breathless. She has none of her own. She needs yours. Hand it over. You have several rap god clips. By the way, remember when I went to Discord to look for something in the tangent for 20 minutes? The thing I was looking for was in stream suggestions. It wasn't in stream suggestions when I originally went there. It was there after I went there the first time, which is why I was in real life pictures the first time. Because I couldn't find it anywhere, but then he posted it in the stream suggestion channel, and then I went to it, and then we looked at it together on stream. Thank you very much. <laughs> By the way, remember when I went to Discord to look for something in the tangent? <laughs> that's not two times speed, that's just normal. <laughs> New definition of oxygen thief! <laughs> This is what may happens when you mainline caffeine. Hey, speaking of caffeine, I'm gonna buy some gamer subs. I'm gonna finish mine. <sighs> this is sped up. There's no way. No, look. Speed. Speed 1x. What does it sound like on two times speed, though? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now do half speed and make your sound normal. Will it? I don't think it will. Juicy, fat, way, pale, booty mom Discord getting spanked at work. Something and then tangent for 20 minutes. The thing I was looking for was in stream suggestions. It wasn't in stream suggestions when I originally went there. It was there after I went there. It just there. sounds like I'm high as fuck. I was in real life pictures the first time. Because I couldn't find it anywhere, but then he posted it in the stream. Oh my god, even my alert sounds more normal. What the fuck? Together on stream. Wait, hold on! Thank you very much. I posted it in the stream suggestion channel, and then I went to it. Because I couldn't find it went there. It was there after I went there the first time, which is why I was in real life pictures the first time. Because I couldn't find it anywhere, but then he posted it. Oh my god, that actually makes my alert understandable! So many people ask what that alert is fucking saying! <laughs> you sound like the clear eyes guy at half speed! Do you have dry red eyes? Get clear eyes! <laughs> you still don't understand what it's, it's- I'm saying- or I'm screeching! Why does it give me men? I was trying to pull a new female unit in Counterside, and I kept getting male units. <laughs> Holy shit, you're crying! <sighs> Bought an eight pack of Mio Energy like two years ago, and you still have two bottles left? You must <laughs> finish them! Oh my god, are they still good after all that time? As a reminder, October is National Down Syndrome Awareness Month. What? What the fuck? You thought it said meds? No, it says men. I was screaming about gotcha. What subs was I slurping? The Jujutsu Kaisen flavor! 
Are you saying you didn't want more Kaiwa? I had a maxed Kaiwa. You found it? Oh, man. Ziz, on point, dude. No, it's not AI. That was actually me. This was before AI voices. This was before AI voices. <laughs> this was in 2021. <laughs> that was that was legitimately me. <laughs> Le legitimately the power of my speech. Was that a Nyan Cat impression? <laughs> you mix the blowhole with Don Q151 and holy shit, you don't regret it. What is a Don Q? What alcohol is that? Now play it on two times speed. What the fuck? I did not remember to mix my gamer subs with milk. I forgorbed. I also woke up really late, so can you blame me? How the fuck am I able to enunciate so well when my brain has so much lag? It's a good fucking question. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's tequila. Yeah, I just thought of Don Quixote, you know? Get the J Schlot titty milk. It's good shit. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> oh, hey, you remember this? Hello, Cap. Hello, Cap, my man. Hermit How, thank you for the 500 biddies! I was a big fan of Eminem. You gotta show your appreciation for me doing that line in a song. Well done. Thank you. We can blame you for waking up late. I'm sorry! <laughs> you usually drink your gamer slaps when you want to have an autistic level of focus on a task? My focus is always shot, dude. <laughs> Do gamer subs mix well with vodka? I don't know. I don't, I've not tried that. How can you still be a fan of him after the coffee pot incident? <laughs> That's an awfully hot coffee pot! <laughs> Only one way to find out. I like I like how I told El Father I didn't know what I was going to be doing on Sunday, and I just glanced over at the Discord and realized that he named the, the fucking event for stream Cool Woman Sunday. <laughs> I can blame you for the Kennedy assassination. I wasn't alive for that! <laughs> Did I try to mix the gamer subs with milk like I said I would? No, I forgot. I forgot. You've yet to try the gamer subs? Well, fucking try it, man! I'm gonna go fucking try the gamer subs! Oh, man. I'm never gonna make it through this article, dude. <laughs> I'm never gonna make it through this fucking article! I keep tangenting! <laughs> Pryor added that the North Face shares blame for the destruction of Talbot. To make matters worse, this action is in line and was endorsed by the North Face, whose commitment to social justice seems to lack an appreciation for either what is appropriate social behavior and what is justice, Pryor said. No. No, Pryor, you're wrong. This, is, this actually is their justice. This is the justice that they want. This, this is in line with exactly what they are pushing. This is... This is social justice, and this is equity. This is part of the initiative. America First Legal asserts that Ainu was motivated by a desire to increase his fame and advance the North Face's social justice mission, even if it meant maliciously destroying the reputation and career of Mr. Talbot. It also asserts that Ainu later admitted to Mr. Talbot's employer that he did not say anything racist or offensive. Black guy ruins white man's career and reputation. Later says it never happened. Nothing's going to be done about it. Many such cases. Speaking of gamer subs, you have successfully conned two co-workers into buying product using code Kirsha for 10% off. <gasps> Thank you for all the fishies. You are a great sub shill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, hopefully my little my little widget will be finished soon and we can have the fucking waifu cup counter on screen for all of our eyes to perceive. Man, if we can get that cup before the year is over, that'd be nuts. That'd be nuts! Also, cancellation, as advocated by social justice advocates, is just a socially acceptable vigilante murder. Yeah, exactly. What's the progress towards your cup? Uh, the... The first 24 hours, we had, like... Oh, God, it was, it was like, 200-something two, units sold? I can't remember, but they told me the number. So, <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're fucking.
fucking hauling ass. Here, in five minutes, your tangent will have lasted three hours. Shh. Talbot is not the only individual who alleges that Ainu levies unsubstantiated accusations of racism against those he's come into contact with. Wow! Imagine my shock! A man who realizes he has power by using a racial grift continues to do so. Ari Novak, a movie producer and ice climber, told The Daily Wire that he's known Ainu for six years and has personally observed him race bait multiple individuals aggressively and then claim they wanted to fight him. I found his behavior so disturbing that I asked him to move out of my home in 2020. There are many cases of Manoa threatening physical altercations and then claiming victimhood under the banner of racial bias, Novak said. Imagine my shock! As a highly paid outdoor athlete, Manoa's whole brand is rooted in racial confrontation. This man is a highly paid outdoorsman literally for his racial confrontations. God damn. You're reading the lawsuit for this right now and Ainu's posts are so fucked. I don't know if they include the posts in here. Uh, could you slap that link to the to the stream suggestions? Novak highlighted a particularly disturbing incident that occurred at his house at a New Year's Eve party in 2019, where Manoa physically threatened to smash a person's head into my fireplace because Manoa felt a comment about skiing was racist. Manoa had to be physically restrained at this incident. Manoa got a loose brick out of the wall, and the loose brick was over the guy's head, Novak said. The guy was down on the mantle in front of the fireplace, and Manoa was re- It's okay, guys. It was just a regular amber alert. I don't get the ebony alerts. I don't live in California. <laughs> But Novak contends that this incident was part of a consistent pattern of behavior. At the 2020 Michigan Ice Festival, Novak said Ainu engaged in similar behavior after being told that he should not climb in that area that was closed at night due to safety concerns. And you know, you know, it's kind of weird. You know, it kind of sticks out to me. He said that the incident where Ainu threatened to smash someone with a brick was in 2019. But he didn't ask him to move out of the house until 2020. Well, I guess it was a New Year's Eve party, so it must have been, like, very close to the turn of the year. So maybe it was, like, in January. So hopefully, hopefully it was very soon after, and he didn't let him stay there for, like, months, dude. If you climb trees, you'll die. <laughs> have I seen this fox's brain? Text 555-76041 if you have. I need my milk carton! Look outside your window to see if the car is there for the missing kiddo. What? Not just any minority, only for black kids. Yeah, yeah. the the new the new Ebony alert is just for missing black kids, because apparently having black children included in Amber alerts is not good enough. I I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't really know. You disabled all of them except presidential because they forced it on. I don't. I don't know how to disable it. <laughs> no way that's real. It is It is real. It's unfortunately real. I don't go on another tangent, so I'm not going to bring it up, but the ebony alerts are real. <laughs> Noted. I will ignore the ebony alerts. What the fuck? Where's the ivory alert? No one cares if white kids go missing. Are you kidding me? Why would there be an ivory alert? Kiri, you are disabled. <laughs> You have an alert for petty crime in the USA? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is it named the Ebony Alert? The original child was named for the girl Amber? Fuck you, stop asking questions. <laughs> Where's my yellow alert? <laughs> Ebony Alert sounds like a really bad porn series you'd see from bras ears. Yeah. <laughs> you turned off all the someone's divorce went nuclear <laughs> alerts. <laughs> White people don't season their Amber Alerts. Imagine. Imagine. Novak contends that this incident was part of a consistent pattern of behavior. Oh, I already read that. Sorry. Manella took this suggestion to be racially motivated, motivated and tried to engage in a physical altercations. Novak said, adding that the behavior is encouraged by the North Face. These are just two of many examples of a pattern of behavior that is both calculated and cultivated by his primary sponsor, the North Face. He's always trying to create a situation where he can have a fight over race. And why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Much, much like 
women are waiting for them to turn 18 so they can start doing OnlyFans and making money, quote unquote, the easy way. If you are able to have power over other people by claiming they're racist, if you are able to get higher powered positions in a company by race baiting, if you're not only able to ruin people's lives and gain power through both status and ruining people by race baiting, why wouldn't you? They are given this power and you can't tell them they're wrong for trying to use it. You have to just make sure the power doesn't exist anymore. America be wild and... Oh, cute fat flamingo, I like your name. You always fight over race. NASCAR be damned, I need Dale Jr. to take his dubs. Did you know that there's a guy I can't remember the name of, but when he comes in the top 10 in, in the... In the in the Monster Cup NASCAR races, you can get a free blooming onion from the Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> I mean, ebony alerts aren't to notify you of hot ebony milfs available in your area. What the fuck? Kevin Harvick, thank you. That's his name. When Kevin Harvick comes in top 10, you, average citizen, can get free blooming onion. He's retiring this year. This is the last year for free Kevin Onion. <laughs> That's the alert we really need. We need the Bloomin' Onion alert. Okay, I want that guy to win. He keep your alerts on if that was real. <laughs> Onions hate. I love onion! Onions are delicious! Unless they get, like, cooked weirdly. And then they're, like, little wormy onions and they're slimy. I don't like the slimy, wormy onions. Bloomin' Onion's pretty fucking good. I love the Bloomin' Onion sauce. If I could just order, like, a crate of Bloomin' Onion sauce from Outback Steakhouse and then replace my ketchup with that, I would. <laughs> they need they need to do what Whataburger does and sell their Bloomin' Onion sauce in bottles, please, for the love of God. Sautéed onions are amazing. It looks good, but you've never had one. The The quality of the Bloomin' Onion really depends on the quality of your Outback Steakhouse. You can, you can have some real nice... Hot and crispy onion flowers. Or you can get like the soggy, depressing mess of just like breaded weird onion flop. And then it's gross. Would I have it on my desk? No. Bloomin' onion sauce would have to go in the frigidigage. People actually go to Outback Steakhouse? Well, I mean, you don't dine in at an Outback Steakhouse. You, you order out. It's like, it's a takeout restaurant. If you leave to shower, what are the odds she'll still be on this article? Pretty good, right? Fuck! <laughs> It has nothing to do with race. It has everything to do with him not being stable, Novak said. Literally anybody can bump into Manoa and suddenly he decides they're racist and they could lose their job. How can, how can this guy literally in the same breath say it has nothing to do with race, but anyone that bumps into him is at risk of losing their job because he's going to decide that they're a racist? It's, it's not that he's mentally ill. It's that he lives in a system that promotes this behavior from him. Our, our society and our culture promote him acting in this way. Most places don't leave food in the fryer long enough. You don't know why? I also don't know why. Fry it for the correct amount of time. Honestly. Honestly. Mom, mom, mom. Mom, mom, mom. I think he might be saying that if he didn't pick a fight about race, he'd pick a fight about something else. You don't believe that? You think he chooses race as an excuse because he knows he can? Yeah, same. Like, there's there's no way you can b get me to believe that this race grifter isn't doing it for, for raci racist purposes. If you dine in the Outback State House, you get free refills on their iced teas, and they make good iced tea! <sighs> Novak remarked before explaining that the outdoor industry has gone woke and contending that the North Face has established an incentive structure that encourages Ainu's racial agitation. Well, if he's, if he's even acknowledging, if he's even acknowledging that the company encourages it, then what does he mean it has nothing to do with race? This guy, this guy's like trying to cover his own ass without noticing reality too much. <laughs> I knew did not respond to a request for comment on the lawsuit and Novak's allegations. The North Face also did not respond for a request to comment. Much of Ainu's public image appears to be built around his stated effort to diversify the sport of ice climbing, with one article highlighting his climb to the summit of Mount Everest with an all-black team as a feat that showed the continued diversification of a historically white activity. I don't think black people are being gatekept from ice climbing. I'm going to be real honest with you. 
I I feel like this is similar to the out the outdoors is racist in general. I find it really hard to believe that there are people being like, mm, you can't come ice climbing, you're black. <laughs> How is it diverse to have a 100% black team? If you haven't noticed that diversity quite literally means less white people, you haven't been paying attention for the last 20 years. Probably even longer than that. You encourage all equity people to climb Everest. <laughs> Who's going to tell them that the majority of people who die climbing Everest are white and very wealthy? Well, I mean, they're wealthy, so they deserved it, right? It doesn't matter that they died because they had too much money. <laughs> Just don't call it... Oh, my God. <laughs> he bemoaned the challenges of living in a predominantly white area. Bozeman, with CNN reporting that it weighs heavily on the young climber. So let, let me get this straight. A black racist grift hustler talking about diversity, equity, and inclusion. Calling everyone around him that he meets a racist and getting into mostly verbal but sometimes physical altercations. Lives in a predominantly white area instead of a predominantly black area. And he's somehow using living in the predominantly white area as something else people should pity him for. How is this man real? How is this man a real person? Holy shit. <laughs> this this guy is literally like Jesse Smollett. <laughs> Bet this dude won't live in the hood. Oh, feel bad for me. I have to live among these. These. White people. <laughs> This is completely unsurprising. <laughs> the lawsuit asserts that the North Face has also pushed the diversity, equity, and inclusion agenda, pointing to a 2020 initiative called the Reset Fellowship that featured Ainu and pledged $7 million to organizations with the goal of building equity in the outdoors and creating opportunities for all. It went on to claim that communities of color are three times more likely to live in nature-deprived locations and often face racism and other systemic challenges when they do explore. Nature-deprived locations. This new speak is getting out of control, chat. <laughs> like, yeah, cities aren't gonna have a whole lot of fucking nature. But, like, if you're gonna live rurally, you're also gonna spend less money than living in a city, so I don't really know what the gatekeeping here is. It's a funny way to say personal choice. Blah. What are we going to do on the bed? Oh, God. Isn't Detroit being swallowed back by nature? Don't notice. <laughs> I like I like how they say they face racism and other systemic challenges when they do explore. What what do you what do you mean by this? Like if, if you're going out on a nature hike and you're like hiking up a mountain, you're going to be like, why them deers have white spots, and not black spots. Them's racist deers. You like you go camping and you wake up and like raccoons have pillaged your campsite. You're like them's racist raccoons. They ate my food because I'm a black man and not white. The raccoons wouldn't have done this to the white man. Like what? What do you mean by this? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I d how? How is nature giving you racism? <laughs> them white tear deer racist. <laughs> In nature, there is no system that even could oppress you. Nature in and of itself is oppressive to everyone. It's fucking hard <laughs> to live out in the woods, dude. Like, <laughs> hang on, let him cook. <laughs> the bear's racist for mauling me to near death. It wouldn't have done that to a white dude. <laughs> 
Pryor says Talbot's case is part of a larger trend in which public figures like Ainu use their platforms to target anyone perceived as an ideological enemy for cancellation. Even if the efforts fail, there are no consequences. Somebody needs to draw a line in the sand and say this kind of behavior is not acceptable. Especially today, in the world of social media, these kinds of things can go viral in a very fast manner. There needs to be consequences for those that choose to use these platforms to destroy lives. Man. Man. This whole thing is just really depressing. <laughs> Dude, the raccoons are black and white at the same time. Can they be racist? Yeah, they're light skin. They have light skin privilege. Now we need consequences. <laughs> Why do we allow the wheelless Americans to attack us? So, what does that mean? Surprisingly enough, black bears are very much big wussies and scared of the humans. Brown bears are menaces. One wrong look and they'll tear you apart brutally. I've been informed that actually the polar bears are the nastiest of the bears. Help! <sighs> I don't understand why they're saying POCs are living in nature-deprived areas. They have cultivated an entire ecosystem of unique ceiling birds that live in their houses and fill them with a variety of beautiful <laughs> songs found nowhere else in the world. <laughs> I love that clip of that guy telling that one woman with her child next to her that, he sh that she should change her fire alarm battery and she looks confused as fuck. And he's like, just wait. Just, just wait. It'll chirp. It'll... It'll it'll sound just wait a minute. And then it chirps, he's like, see? See there it is and she just looks even more confused. <laughs> he's just like they they've become immune to the chirp. <laughs> Lives in my head fucking red free chat. <laughs> Polar bears are one of the only land predator animals that still view people as food because they historically have interacted very little with humans. So what you're saying is if I steal a polar bear cub and I train the cub to be my pet, I can now cultivate polar bears that will not attack humans. Oh man, Proctor, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you, thank you. An avalanche grim, thank you for the one dollar. Uh... You know, red-headed people aren't gonna get missing persons alerts because they're actively being removed. You don't you don't want to give missing person alerts to people who are who are getting removed on purpose, you know? <laughs> the ad blocker broke recently. People in the ads are all of a certain color now. What do you mean by this? Oh, I have an ad for that. I have a tab for that. Hold up, chat. Hold on, let me I shouldn't close these because I have to remember to put them in the in the thing after stream. Do not close tabs right now. Close the fucking tabs, you psychopath. Where is it? Here it is. So, there's something called Social Swipe that's raising money for um, mi misery or through interactive posters. According to an advertising agency, a Cole Rebbe, the challenge was to increase a people's willingness to give and remind them in an attention-grabbing way that even a small donation can have a big impact. Our objective was to devise a solution that was both entertaining and innovative. This was the world's first interactive advertisement display able to accept credit card donations. All potential donors had to do is donate two euro to German international development charity Miserior. <clears throat> I'm pronouncing that terribly wrong, I assume. Swipe their credit card through a specially designed poster, and once they'd done this, they'd receive instant feedback on what their gift would achieve. There are two creative executions. On one poster, the credit card cut through the image of the bound hands of an imprisoned Filipino child. And on the other, the donors could use their credit card to cut a slice of bread from a loaf. The bread represented the cost to provide a daily meal for a family in Peru. You hear that, Cap? We're providing for you! <laughs> Praise me! <laughs> Importantly, donors were given the chance to turn their one-off gift into a regular gift through a request on his or her bank statement. 
what about me i i don't know the specific latin american countries all of you guys live in i just remember cap living living in like peru <laughs> Cap is someone I played fucking Terra with for years. And and down here, it says costs not disclosed, which is weird. <laughs> Results, over 3,000 euro was raised from a one-off donation in the first month, or one-off donations, plural. There were also a 23% year-on-year increase in donors making three or more subsequent donations. And I thought it was really interesting to read this and then watch the advertisement. Tell me, uh, tell me if you noticed something about this advertisement chat. So if you if you didn't catch it, the first person we see here, I'm gonna mute it for this time. The first person we see here is a white woman. And she uh, she slices the bread. She slices her bread. And she's a happy white woman. We got a white woman here, also slicing the bread. All right, we got, we got a second white woman. That's two people. Thank you for donating. You're such a great person. We have we have a black guy who walks past the board and doesn't pay attention to it. <laughs> we have a white woman who comes up to the board and gives money. We have another another white person giving giving a uh, charity here. We got a white guy looking happy, a white woman looking happy, another white woman, and another white woman looking at the board. Uh, this is a uh, gender unspecified. I want to say this is a guy, but I'm not entirely sure. I, like I'm I'm pretty sure this is a man. They're also white. Thank you for donating. So I, I think it's really funny. I think it's really funny. That after all of the push for, like, diversity and inclusion in advertising and how, like, you have to have, you know, that diverse group of friends, you gotta have, like, the, the black guy, the Latino woman, the, the, the white, transgender, queer, uh, amorphous blob person, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta have something, something for everything. But in this advertisement, asking for charity, literally everyone is white, except for the one person that ignored the charity. What did they mean by this? <laughs> what did they mean by this? <laughs> Don't forget the army suddenly started including white people in ads now that they want to go to war in the Middle East again. So they're saying the only white people are generous enough to give money? It's just like, it seems to me if they wanted to keep following their diversity initiatives, this ad should also be diverse. But for, for some reason that is just beyond my comprehension, I have no idea why they only used white people in this ad. <laughs> I mean, can say, what the fuck is that a new emote? The new emote? Oh, there's a little Pippa ghosty. <gasps> oh, that's so cute! A little bunny ghost! That's cute. This is racist. Black people have given enough for society. Oh, that's true. They literally built everything. There is no white history. <laughs> Did the army actually start putting white people in ads, or is that just a meme? I'm not sure. I haven't seen any army ads anywhere. I mean, if somebody's got an army ad, I'll fucking watch one. <laughs> oh my god, does she have multiple ghosts? She does! <laughs> It's okay, let the world know. That that middle finger emote is dangerous. <laughs> Army equals furries. Peepa added a ton of new emotes recently. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I like how they're cute little benoys. Cute little pink benoys. Wonder why the female hasn't been getting Army ads. <gasps> Squishy pumpkin! That's cute! They've stopped shilling to women. We're going to war! Suddenly women are not capable of being put into combat. Oh my god, they're all little bunnies. Holy shit. I can't wait to start getting fucking seasonal variants of my emotes, dude. I can't fucking wait. Don't let your woman brain get in the way of using my brain to do things. To be fair, an international or an internal report advocated starting a conscription because they're concerned about not being able to reach the number threshold via volunteer. 
I really hope they don't do that. <laughs> Why did your pee bus all run out? One month ago? chat this, se this seems like the pretty normal diverse ads that we are used to is this propaganda yes <laughs> let's see this seems yeah, this seems pretty normal they're running all the old ones again why not simply use top gun as an army ad basic training is not that inspirational you're going to get your ass slapped in the mud Lack of shark attacks makes you sad. What the fuck? That's the Navy. I don't- I fucking- I don't know the difference. I'm a woman. <laughs> you also really hope they don't do conscription because then you get recalled to Paris Island as a DI and you don't have that kind of patience! Oh my god. Top Gun is a literal military ad? I only know about playing with the boys. The Navy's the one with all the gay ones. Thanks, Captain Jack! <laughs> Shark attack is just slang for when all the drill sergeants gang up on you while you're dumping your bags. Oh, I did not know that. They need to return to the old 80s, be all you can be. They were wildly successful and were pretty good to watch. Yeah. I like vaguely remember the old be all you can be commercials. Who's obsessed with crayons again? That's the Marines, right? It's the Gavy. <laughs> Yeah, no, this this seems like a normal commercial. If this is what people are, like, talking about with the army commercials, then uh, I think it's just, like, fake outrage. Uh, it's just, like, it is, this doesn't seem out of the ordinary for me. When people, when people were saying that they were, like, making army ads with, like, only white dudes, I imagined that they had zero diversity in them. And I was like, yeah, that would be kind of fucking weird. That'd be kind of fucking weird if it was literally all white men in a commercial in current year. People are freaking out about every other thing now. Look at the Warriors Wanted ads in comparison. I don't know what Warriors Wanted is. They ran a bunch of DEI ads last year. Uh, this, this, I mean, this doesn't have, like, fucking transgender, lesbian, wheelchair people. But it still follows diversity. Like, it just, it just seems normal. <laughs> There's no racism in the army. Everyone is equally worthless. Yeah. Marines are the crayons. Navy is gay. Air Force nerds. Army ghetto. I remember the Air Force being called the Chair Force. <laughs> Navy's the congregation of floating gay clubs and taxis, but now that the Marines have their own ships, they're also just floating gay clubs. Why? Why do you turn gay as soon as you join the military? <laughs> you missed the old Army of One ads they ran when you joined? I remember an Army of One ad with, like, an actual... Like, like a woman who looked pretty fucking well-to-do for, like, an Army person. Uh, like, I just, I don't know. Her her visage sticks in my brain. Saying America used to make entire movies and series for military propaganda? Yeah, I don't doubt it. But stuff happens often in the Navy. What the hell? Just Navy, all men, trapped on a boat. You don't have to resort to being gay if you're trapped on a boat. People dying for the military-industrial complex is pretty fucking gauge. You turn gay in the Navy because when you're on a boat full of nothing but in-shape men, you start thinking, Wow! The hot, sweaty Navy men! Oh my god. Warriors Wanted ad for comparison. This is three years ago, so this is an old ad. Yeah. 
There are those who stand forever ready. Ready to defend the nation. Ready to fight for what matters. No matter what. Do you have what it takes? Find out at GoArmy.com slash Warriors. Yeah? Yeah, I see what you mean. I, I see what you mean. Because in this ad, the focus isn't on the identities of the people in the video. Like, they're all in full army set. Like, you can tell that they're diverse. Like, if you pause it and you look at them. Like, there's, like, a white woman. There looked like there was a Latino woman. There's this white guy. There's a black guy. Like, they're diverse. But that's not the point of the ad. The point of the ad is, like, you guys are all army. Your there personal identity doesn't matter. You are a band of brothers now. Ready to but the newer you. ads focus more on the individual identities of the people is what, it, is what it seems like, you know? So instead of being in the army fatigues, they just show... They just show all of the, the different people and how diverse it is. Like, yeah, I guess seeing them, seeing them side by side, it's, it's a little, it's a little, huh. I wonder why they made that change. It's normal in the army, you're together as one. Yeah, exactly, but that's not, that's not what this ad is, like, getting a message across as, right? Like, this ad doesn't tell me, like, you're a band of brothers. This ad doesn't tell me army of one, you know? Now show a Chinese army ad! Bros, I wanna join the military! Don't fall for the propaganda! And you two can die for nothing. Join the military! The worst part of every army ad is that they don't show the hours of staying in a weird desert area, literally using adult diapers and only sleeping for two hours at a time in shifts! Yeah? Can we watch the one that has the white woman that had the two moms in California? Oh god, we're looping. The Be All You Can Be commercial with the paratroopers and the one with the army rangers are both really good. Apparently we're solely responsible for a major boost in recruiting. You highly recommend watching them. Uh, I don't know how easy those would be to find. I don't know how easy those would be to find. Is this an ad for public transport? <laughs> All the army needs is the content creator angry cop screaming, Get off my bus! And I'm signing up tomorrow! What the fuck? Did you figure out deadly premonition? Speaking of... It is it is the three hour mark. I should probably make an attempt. I should probably make an attempt to uh, play deadly premonition. I have so many more tabs I want to rant on, chat. I want to rant on tabs. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I'm gonna do one more. I have daily mail tabs open. Can we watch the army ad where the twins find a dead body in a tree? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Video games on my Kirsha stream? It's more likely than you think. <laughs> be all you can be, but the ones you're finding aren't too good. What the heck? One more. That means the game doesn't come for another two hours. No, I'm gonna focus! I'm gonna focus, I promise! Did I know that the Spanish military has some very sexy soldiers? Is it like the sexy IDF women? It's okay, you can let the tabs rest for now. You got through an entire window recently. Jesus Christ. Did I forget the opening scene in Deadly Premonition? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have the opening scene replay again. So we, we can we can have all of all of the context. If we did a donathon to clear your tabs, we'd be here until you die of malnutrition. That's true. That's true. Single mom of four who quit her job as a receptionist to be an OnlyFans model reveals she now rakes in $30,000 a month after enlisting her 14-year-old sister to shoot her racy content. What a fucking headline, chat. What a fucking headline. And... People, people really like to combat the, like, women are joining OnlyFans because it's easy, easy money with the, like, well, actually, it's only, like, the top 1% of OnlyFans creators that are making any money. Most women join and they make, like, $10 a month. Like, they're not making any money. It's not, it's not as easy as you think it is. And re just reading this headline, just reading this headline, I'm going to put on your tinfoil hats, chat. Put on your tinfoil hats, because I'm about to say some tinfoil shit. I feel like the giant uptick in women wanting to join OnlyFans 
and feeling like it's easy money, despite it actually not being super easy for the majority of people who go to OnlyFans, and they devalue themselves and they put out this content that makes them a black mark in the typical workforce and makes them a black mark for men because a lot of men don't want to put up with someone who previously did porn as, as a job or even as like a hobby for OnlyFans. It feels like another step in the demoralization campaign. It, it feels like splitting men and women with the court system, splitting men and women with the push of feminism for women to become more like men wasn't enough. <laughs> The sexual revolution of women wanting to be more masculine and trying to feminize men instead wasn't Somebody. enough. And now... I'm sorry I'm late, Mistress Keisha. Please forgive me. Have a dollar for every hour I was late. Now we have too many people in the workforce. We're having to raise wages too often and it's not making a difference. We're, we're having all of these issues right now. And what better way to get rid of people in the workforce while simultaneously continuing the rift between men and women by making women feel like it's empowering to devalue themselves and be shameless and creating a bastion of women who are untouchable by companies and men alike than to convince them that they too can make $30,000 a month if only they would just take their clothes off and sell themselves for the price of a cheeseburger a month. They want to weaken the strengths of men and women at once. Men, men want to condemn the women who have OnlyFans without realizing that men are part of the problem. If you're being propagandized to and told that OnlyFans is a viable way of making money, that OnlyFans is better money than having a traditional job, why would you work retail? Why would you work a traditional job if you could make more doing OnlyFans? Why, and like you have plenty of men saying, oh, if I was an attractive woman, I would make an OnlyFans. So you have men reinforcing that position as well. And yes, I'm not saying the women are not culpable. They shouldn't be willing to do this. But if they didn't have an audience of men willing to pay them for this, and they didn't see the success stories being bleated out in the news of how women can make this much money, there wouldn't be as many people not just trying to make an OnlyFans, but waiting for their 18th birthday so that they can. Gold digging has existed ever since humanity. This is like an advanced form of gold digging. Women, we get paid less than men. Also women, yeah, I'm going to quit my job instantly when I think I'll get men to pay me for sitting at home and wagging my toes at the camera. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, I... I definitely... I definitely think a lot of dudes should realize that the blame is shared. It's, it's much like the guys who are like, I'm envious that women can go on dating apps and get fucked whenever they want. And it's like, my mans, you are envious of the wrong thing. You are contributing to the problem. Encourage women to be VTubers instead. Yeah! Yeah, develop a personality. Become VTuber instead of being vapid OnlyFans lady. And parents, you're, you peasants can have your OnlyFans girls. These years of learning foreign languages came in clutch. <laughs> you can make 30000 a month from something. You don't think you'd stay at your current job? Yeah. But most women who start in OnlyFans aren't going to be making $30,000 a month. So articles like this, where they tell about the success stories of women who make tons of money by doing this, like, especially if you're young, you're not going to understand that this is the minority. Just because this woman did it doesn't mean you will. And you could end up with hundreds, if not thousands, of nude photos and videos of you online for everyone to see. They're not protected. Someone can join your OnlyFans, download everything, and then fucking leave. You've now put all of this out there for your future love prospects, for your future employers, 
for for people you probably don't want to have see it and you're not even going to be making a hundred dollars a month i like i get some people like the gamba right it's the same in the content creation industry and it's it's a faux pas for someone who's a streamer to say it but not every streamer is gonna make it not every streamer or content creator or youtuber can do that as a living even if they want to they can try and whatever content they put out is probably not going to be as bad as what's on OnlyFans. I guess unless unless you're someone like like iDubs <laughs> who decided to change his content to placate. There's a show called QA in Australia. There was an OnlyFans episode. Only horror stories from the women who all thought it was a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like just just because some people succeed at thing doesn't mean you will. And that doesn't mean you shouldn't try in majority of cases, but when it's something like OnlyFans, which is adjacent to the porn industry, you have to really fucking weigh the pros and cons there. Didn't Belle Delphine fuck a raw chicken? What the fuck? I hope not. It's a one-way path. Yeah. And it's like, it makes me feel bad. Because when I read this shit, it just seems like propaganda to convince more women that doing this is a good idea. Are we being groomed? That's what I meant when I said yesterday, not all groomers are pedophiles. Adults can get groomed as well, just in different ways. Belle fucked an octopus, not a chicken. Oh, so she's going into the jav market now, I see. <laughs> Woman 30k e-whoring equals strong and independent. Man 30k job equals broke loser. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Didn't she also sell the full condom after having sex with a guy? That's disgusting. What about the lewd tubers that also do regular VTube stuff, but also do fansly? I mean, if they're if they're successful with it, like, have at it. I, I don't like that it's a thing, but I'm also not so dumb as to think that you can get rid of that kind of stuff. Prostitution is the world's oldest profession for a reason. And if somebody understands the consequences and wants to do that anyways, uh, then, like, have at it, I suppose. And I've always said that I respect people like Project Melody, who does, like, VTubing with lewd stuff on the side, and she keeps all of her, like, pornographic stuff to Chatterbait and the correct channel. She doesn't try to do, like, discount cam whoring on Twitch like a lot of other people who try to enter that sphere do. Like, I feel like Melody is someone who's very respectable in that regard because she understands, like, where different content goes, right? Like, she's not, she's not trying to do the cam whoring on Twitch where it doesn't belong. She's doing normal content here, and she's doing the lewd content where it belongs on a different platform. Mel's Twitch streams are wholesome, weirdly. Yeah, I, I have literally nothing but respect for Mel. It's funny because Mel was 18 first and then streamer. Yeah. She she fucking broke Chatterbait and all of the all of the flesh Chatterbait women were pissed. You legit forgot Melody does Chatterbait. That's because the majority of the content she advertises for is like her regular content on Twitch. And like even sometimes when she does Chatterbait stuff, it, it's not even like her getting fucked. Like she had a, a case on thing on Chatterbait. She had like a meme review on Chatterbait. And it, it's just like it's when it's too over the edge for Twitch. That you just go to d do it on Chatterbait instead, you know? If you're being a cam whore on Twitch, it just means that your target audience is young boys. Yeah, you're just, like, trying to take advantage of a different audience instead of doing it in a more respectable manner. The thoughts being mad online was glorious. Yeah, absolutely. Reminder. <laughs> Mel's got some crazy worldviews, though. I feel like uh, most people have crazy worldviews. <laughs> You've seen her collab streams there, and they are generally pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I can't disagree. Mel's also on top of the cam girls, and she doesn't have issues with her father like the normal girls. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Didn't Mel's audience beg her to move to safer work content? I have no idea. I'm I'm not that entwined in her audience. Even the chatterbait streams are funny sometimes. <laughs> you remember when she broke chatterbait and the flesh he's receiving? Yeah. <laughs> Mel, that's how you found out about VTubers? She seems too derpy to be lewd. Well, that's what people say when I do, like, my fucking ASMR voice. They're just like, man, if Kirsha wasn't Kirsha, she would be dangerous with this voice. <laughs> when you think of how just brain damaged I am, it might take you out of the, out of the sexy. 
<laughs> Remember watching her on Shatterbait first stream? The boy you sent that link around so fast! Regular IRL friends, Discord blew up. Good times. Yeah! Chatterbait here stream when? My first Chatterbait stream is gonna be a collab. <laughs> collab was so popular it almost crashed the site. Holy shit. How long until we get Kier Chatterbait streams to avoid Twitch issues? Soon. <laughs> Project Melody Chatterbait drama was funny and she was the first VTuber you followed. It's on Twitch apparently. I've been following her for a hot minute as well. RIP ASMR redeems. I have to get to them at some point? <laughs> Please, no. Collab with a lucky chatter. No, collab with a friend. <laughs> Don't worry, the fact that you spaz out when driving is kind of precious and triggers the male urge to protect. Holy shit. You see, all my loot art is done ironically. I always find it funny that the first loot art made of me was Lolly Kirsha. Imagine Kirsha trying to be lewd with a guy and then she fucking screeches like a dinosaur! Holy shit. You'd watch a Kier Melody collab on Shatterbait? We would get into very dangerous territory. <laughs> Iconic! Kirsha Chatterbait to avoid Twitch? I mean, didn't a bunch of gun tubers briefly move to the corn tube during the first adpocalypse? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. 54 ASMR requests and counting. Nim disabled it! Don't worry about it! Jokes on you, I'm into that. Kirsha just opened a floodgate. No, I didn't! Pterosaur, Jesus Christ. She'll shift to beating women like a real lesbian. I'm gonna leave the off collab with bruises. <laughs> but this this article, let me let me get into the nitty gritty now that I fucking ranted. Now that I fucking ranted. I did. Wait, what did I do? What did I do? What was this article about again? <laughs> he missed a rant. Oh no, the new Pippa tweet? Oh no. I don't know what it is. The rendezvous is still enabled. What the fuck? I will focus! She lied as easily as she breathed! <laughs> this first sentence may surprise you, chat. A single mother of four who quit her job to become an OnlyFans model now rakes in $30,000 a month and has enlisted her 14-year-old sister to help shoot her raunchy content, but insists that she has not exposed the teen to anything inappropriate. Chloe Sasha from Gilbert, Arizona, said she was struggling to make ends meet after going through a divorce earlier this year, and her goal was to become financially responsible for her four kids, Ray, nine, Riss, Riss in my chat, S seven, and twins, Vio and Nona. I thought Nona was grandma. She decided to turn to adult content creation to earn some extra money, and within one month, she was earning thousands of dollars. Chloe soon left her job as a receptionist so that she could focus on building her online persona full time. And now she has claimed that sharing steamy photos of herself online has not only earned her tons of money, but also helped her spend more time with her kids. Chat, remember how I said that when you find a woman that you want to marry, you have to make sure that their values line up with yours? So that you know while you're off at work, your wife is raising your children to an acceptable standard? Her last sentence, but also helped her spend more time with her kids, is the exact opposite of what you would want in a woman. You would not want a woman saying, Oh yeah, I, ha I, take, I take lewd photographs with my kids and that helps me spend time with them. That is bad, chat. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Her goal was to become financially responsible for her four kids. When I first got divorced, I was working at a dental office. I was a receptionist. I would rarely see my kids, she shared in a recent interview with Truly. I started doing adult content creating because of my financial needs. In my first month, I made a little over $3,000, and that was a little more than what I was making at my receptionist job. My only source of income for years has been Twitch. And I did not start making that kind of money until this year. I was I was in some fucking dire straits for a very long time. 
So that is kind of crazy if she's saying her first month she hit a lucky star and managed to start making like top fucking 10% of OnlyFans fucking money, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're so angry, you're so mad that monthly number would solve your life. Yeah, that's why I said recently when I've started making like an actual, actual living income this past year, it's been really surreal. Or it's like I, I don't have to budget quite as hard as I did before and I can actually save more money. You respect the hustle to provide for her kids, but it's still a morally bankrupt way to do it. You know, if women actually had the choice between working and being a housewife instead of being forced to work because it's almost impossible for a man to support a family on a single income nowadays thanks to the feminist revolution and the Equality Act back in the 70s. She wouldn't have been in this position of being away from her kids because of her dentist job in the first place. So, you know. <laughs> now I'm making $30,000 a month, so that's amazing. My goal was to make $10,000 and I've killed it. The difference it's made in my life and my kids' lives is that I'm able to be with them a lot more now. Chloe explained that she used her earnings to buy a new home for her and her children after previously living in an area with a lot of crime. And you know, you know what's also interesting? Doing, doing the OnlyFans thing does kind of push into the strong, independent, don't need a man, but she's got four kids. And f kids are going to benefit from having a father figure in the home. Maybe, maybe their specific father wasn't a great guy and that's why a divorce is happening. I can only speculate because I don't know anything about the dude. But like, I don't know why you would want to not have a father figure for your children. A good father, not just any father. Yes, exactly. They would benefit, but they ain't. <laughs> maybe it was her. I was just like, I don't know. I, I can only speculate on what happened. Wow, she is tall. She is tall. She's a very tall lady. The only fans creator recently got her younger sister, Brianna, who lives with her, involved in her new endeavor. Can I just say, I hope that's not the 14-year-old sister that they mentioned at the top of the article. Because if that's the case, the 14-year-old looks like a fucking 40-year-old wine aunt. That is, that is a really unfortunate 14-year-old if that is the case. It is. You think it is? Oh no, dude. Oh, no, dude. Why is there children on an article about OnlyFans? Because the 14-year-old is helping the OnlyFans creator take her photos and videos. Oh, God. It is. Oh, God. The 14-year-old helps by snapping some of the sultry images and videos that go on Chloe's OnlyFans profile. Chloe has insisted that she's not exposed the teen to anything inappropriate. Can I show this on Twitch? My... Can I show that? <laughs> the 14-year-old helps by snapping some of the sultry images and videos that go on Chloe's OnlyFans profile, but she insisted that Tina's not witnessed anything that's too mature for her. She just takes pictures of me in outfits and a bikini. My sister sees me in a bikini whether she's filming for me or not, so I feel like it's not exposing her to anything. She's just holding the phone and recording. She doesn't see the online stuff. She just thinks she's helping me make TikToks. Brianna explained that she loves the opportunity because she dreams of Don't being a photographer when she gets older. Using my brain to do things. This is really helping me get closer to that, she shared. While her sister is nothing but supportive, Chloe admitted that some of her friends have not been so accepting of her changing career. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. In fact, she's actually lost many of her close pals who distanced themselves and stopped talking to her after she joined OnlyFans. That scared me if they were going to show the bottom half of this bikini. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Some of my friends were supportive, others were not. It just sucks to not have the friendship we used to over something that doesn't affect them. Chloe explained that she even lost her best friend, Ziri, as a result of her turning to adult content creation. Once she found out I was doing adult content creation, she was not happy. She was one of the ones who was very judgmental about it, and she told me that I was ruining my kids' lives and mine, she revealed. Well, Ziri's not fucking wrong. 
We had a fallout and she distanced herself. She hasn't really spoken to me since I told her. Chloe is also exposed to a slew of criticism online, but she's not ashamed of her job and has insisted that it has no negative impact on her sister or her kids. I'm sure my mother would also say that the way she raised us had no negative impact on us, you know? I've received a lot of judgment online. I get a lot of comments like, your kids are going to hate you or you're ruining their lives. What are they going to think? Aren't you scared of them seeing what you put up there? That sort of stuff, she continued. More pictures. My kids don't really know what I do for a living. They have an idea that I do something in the social media world, but they don't know that it's adult content creating. I love... I love how people are talking about the future where your kids are going to hate you. You're ruining their lives. What are they going to think? Aren't you scared of them seeing what you put up there? Talking about a future hypothetical. And she's just like, well, my kids don't know what I do right now. Lit literally a how would you feel if you didn't have breakfast moment. <laughs> and even, even in the next sentence where she says, I do plan on telling my kids what I do when they're much older. I feel like they're still so young they wouldn't understand exactly. I don't know if you're going to need to tell them. They're probably going to figure it out on their own. <laughs> they 100% know. Are you kidding? Yeah, this could also be another case of telling the same kind of lies my mom would, you know? Like, no, I didn't leave your daughter in a hot car in a parking lot for six hours while I sold sex toys in a shop on the corner and then took her to a strip club and hang out with my stripper friends. Of course I didn't do that. That would be illogical for me to do as her mother. <laughs> Their classmates are going to show them their mom's titties. She added that the adult industry is where she saw an opportunity to make the most income the quickest and described it as an investment in her and her children's futures while gushing over the freedom and stability that it has given her. And amid all the backlash, she also receives tons of positive comments from people who love that she's able to both be a mom and an OnlyFans star. And that's what she focuses on. People call me the hottest MILF in Arizona, and I kind of like that. She joked, adding, I don't feel it's irresponsible to make adult content as a mom. I feel like you should be proud of your body after having kids, and I don't feel like being a mom changes anything. I'm a great mom, and I can choose to do whatever I want to do in whatever field I want to be in. Well, I definitely vehemently disagree with her. And I, I like how, again, I put the tinfoil on at the beginning of the article, and said that telling telling women to eschew values and go into adult content creation is empowering. And she's pushing the freedom and stability narrative. As a content creator, I'm not someone who does OnlyFans, but I do create content. I understand what the grind is. Uh, it gives you a little bit better financial stability for sure. But your mental, your mental fucking suffers. Your physical fucking suffers. I don't have time. I don't have time anymore. <laughs> she doesn't understand that they aren't being kind when they say they love the fact that she's a MILF. Oh my god. It's like, she's not, she's not unattractive either. Uh, so like, I can understand her being proud of her body, but it's like, you can be proud of your body and not go into adult content creation, madame. They'll dance naked for the price of a cheeseburger and we'll call it female empowerment. Not gonna lie, the entire article feels like it's trying to be an ad for OnlyFans and adult content in general. I did not read this article before bringing it up on screen. I read, I read the headline, put the tinfoil on, said exactly that, and I don't feel any differently. Counterpoint, she's unattractive because she's British. She's not British, she's in America. She's an American. She's from Arizona. <laughs> it's an ad for OnlyFans. Yeah, it, it feels like they're trying to push the women should be doing this. It is a viable career. And it's just like, it's viable if you make it. Sure, I guess. But that's like saying content creation is a viable career. Uh, you have no idea. There's so much that goes into you actually being able to make money from it. It's difficult. Not for fatties. Not true. Nikocado Avocado has an OnlyFans and apparently he makes uh, good money off of that. <laughs> You hazard a guess that maybe she was divorced because she wanted to do this and the hubs didn't want to. I mean, you can really only speculate on what happened with her divorce. I, I'm uh, going to assume we're never going to know why her divorce happened. He, he could have been a deadbeat father. She could have been a uh, fucking whore. We don't know. We have no idea. Human trafficking is profitable if you make it as well. Yeah, that's true. 
That's right. Human trafficking is very profitable if you make it. Look at Epstein. <laughs> you too can be a millionaire YouTuber. Everyone on the site is Pootie Pie Rich, this article. Yeah, pretty much. Like, even... There's, there's definitely different, like, brackets of content creator, right? Like, even if you make it to a point where, like, you are sustainable and happy, like, you, you, you might not be grinding anymore, but, like, people like Asmongold or, like, PewDiePie or, like, Moist Critical, they're always going to be on, like, another echelon from someone who is, like, actually able to live month to month. Like, they make so much more than, like, someone like me or someone like Pippa or someone like... I would even venture, like, the V Shoho ladies who make tons more money. Pooty. Yeah, that's how I say his name. Fuck you, chat. You make 10 bucks on YouTube once. They never paid out. I'm a big time tuber. Not grinding, but still grinding. If she had one or two kids, it would be on the dad. Four is her fault. I mean, maybe. It's just, I don't know. There's, how, there's a lot of people who have a ton of kids with uh, not so great people. Yeah, V Shoho. Allegedly, the husband cheated on her in their home. I don't know where you would get that information. I don't know how to find that information. I don't know how much I care about that information. <laughs> Pippa mentioned Kirsha coattail chasing. I'm climbing the ladder that is purely made out of Pippa's skin and bones. <laughs> <laughs> Only VTubers you think that are making hand over fist and money are like Mouse and Shy Lily? Uh, I would say, like, Bao probably also makes a ton of money, considering she was able to get scammed out of, like, thirty-four, thirty-seven thousand dollars $37,000 for an animation. Like, if you have the kind of money like that to drop on an animation from your community, you're, you're probably making pretty decent money. <laughs> that's a very short ladder if it's made out of Pippa. Numi, that's true. Numi, Numi is another one who probably makes a mega fuck ton of money. I, I, I know I know knew me even though I don't watch her. Doesn't mean you know me, Pippa. I have a terrible idea that I shouldn't say out loud. <laughs> I'm climbing the ladder, make sure there's a pillow below in case of a fall. Holy shit. It was Donathon money, you silly. Lars, you guys giving me like Fifty thousand dollars during my donathon doesn't mean that I don't have fifty thousand dollars. I still have those fifty thousand dollars, even if I raised it during a donathon. I, I like I legitimately do not understand the she's not rich because she raised the thirty six thousand dollars from the donathon money. And it's like, well, I'm not saying that thirty six thousand is all of the money she has. I'm sure Bao is making more money a month than I am. <laughs> It's not because Bao consistently makes 30k. I'm not saying she makes 30k a month. I'm not I'm not saying because of my donathon I make 50k a month. That would be ludicrous. But if she has a community that is able to give her $30,000 for an animation in a like funds raising event, she is probably making a decent amount of money monthly. She is probably making more than I am because she's been around longer. She has a larger audience. And Kirsha makes 50k a month. <laughs> if you make 50k a month, you'd probably have a mansion by now. I don't feel like I need a mansion. Uh, it, more than anything, I would like my family home. But if I can't get my family home, I, I would want just like, I don't know, maybe like a humble, like two story farmer's porch house. I, I'd like to have extra space. So like if I have friends who need help or... If, like, my kids have friends who want to have sleepovers and shit, I have extra space, you know? Can't believe Kirsha makes 75k a week. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The new Vishoho VTuber is another one that quit Niji. Vishoho is going to going to be the, the new Niji resurrection home. <laughs> 50k, imagine the himbo. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I'm sure if I had, like, an audience size of Bao, I would be, I would be also inclining in finances as well i'm not like every time i mention that like bao has made that money from her community it's not that i think she's making that much regularly it's that her community wants to support her very very much as like as someone who also makes most of my money from people who are kind enough to like sub and dono and do that shit i was like yeah i i get it like, everything is basically a dono, if you think about it, aside from the, like, sponsorships. And I wouldn't even get the sponsorships if it wasn't for the community that I have. So it's all cyclical. It's all tied together. Come on, you, 
I believe someone else you watch pointed out that these news stations have been hiding these ads and pretending that they're news stories. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Other tubas have kids and make bank still. We could. Kirsha has kids. I don't have kids now. I want kids in the future. I would like I would like kids when I find someone who I should have kids with. <laughs> Hope you don't do it in Massachusetts and they're apparently getting to a point where even Smith and Wesson is leaving after 170 years. Holy shit. What the fuck? One of your favorite musicians had enough money that he could have lived in a mansion, but he chose to live in a two-bedroom apartment because it was close to his favorite bar. <laughs> That's like Asmongold. Asmongold's, for all intents and purposes, like, he's he's a millionaire, right? He's got fucking tons of money. But he lives in his family home. Like, humble home that he grew up in. And I, I feel the same way. I if, if possible, I would like to keep my family home that I grew up in. Find it wholesome when people are kind and nice to their streamers and vice versa? Yeah. When we bounce a little bit, we call each other fucking retarded on occasion. But I feel like we have a very, a very kind community. <laughs> it has multiple million dollar companies. You see the way the Goblin King lives? He lives a little bit dirtier than I would want to, admittedly. But, you know, the Asmongold house video is great. I'm gonna have to watch it. Nyam! Nyam! Man, I remember losing sleep to set up Deadly Premonition so the streamer could play it on stream. Wow, it's a good thing I started calling your name before that popped up in my chat. Because I was about to tell you, I don't remember how to open the thing that you set up. <laughs> Don't let your woman brain get in the way of using my brain to do things. Yeah, see? See? <laughs> Much love to you as well, retard! Thank you! RPC. Cola. I open. Most of the mess is clutter, though, so it isn't as bad. <laughs> we say some dumb shit in this chat, but we try to not go too far. She tolerates our illness. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being funny. It's rare to find a VTuber that's unironically funny and it's not forced. Ah, you know, I'm sure I have my not funny moments. <laughs> Can't let other people think for you. I like it when Nim thinks for me, though. <laughs> Kirsha's cute and funny. Oh, God, wait. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why doesn't Asmund go the XQC route and hire maids? I don't know. Maybe he's gotten comfortable living in his area that he's cultivated. And he might not have, like, any specific attachment to the clutter. But the clutter might make him feel a sort of comfortableness that makes it hard to, like, clean up all of it. And, I mean, maybe eventually he will, but it probably will take him a bit mentally to get to that point. Asmund would screw up and order Canadian made by accident. Oh my god. She hasn't told us yet, but the new model is a lolly one. Ah! That reminds me! I got an update! I have to reply to the rigger after I get off stream, because I looked at it, but I was already late. I got I got an update from the rigger! And... Chat! I'm so excited! It looks so beautiful! I'm so excited. The, the rigger is constantly apologizing for how much, uh, how much time they're taking because the, the gun has given them difficulty. I was just like, oh, I'm fucking so happy to see the progress they've given me. <laughs> I scared you! <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you, I just got really excited! I got really excited! I had been, I had been waiting on a new model for so long and then my 3D model mama just like abandoned me. And, and then I had to, like, find a different modeler, and thankfully, my fucking beautiful artist friend, Mikachi, she, she wanted to do the artwork for me so I could get live 2D. And then I, and then I found a rigger that was actually, like, open and had time, and I'm just, oh, it's been so long, chat. I've been through so many issues. I've been through so many issues, so I am just, I'm really happy, dude. I don't, I don't care. I don't care that the rigger's taking longer because, like, I'm seeing updates, they're communicative. I'm just, I'm happy that it's happening. I'm happy that it's happening. <laughs> the vector better have the same shooting sound. Oh my god. <laughs> Kirsha's losing a D. Uh, when I have my D removal surgery, Pippa will finally call me beautiful. <laughs> You know, if you can adjust to a new model, you've grown attached to my scuffed model over the past year and a half. My Parkinson's model. <laughs> 
Fox Lou happy for me. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to miss it. I'm excited. Let me uh see if I remember how to launch the game here. <gasps> I did it. Oh, gears changing. I feel like her first words are still going to be, Kirsha, you whore, probably. Get rid of Snoop Dogg here. We don't need to Snoop. But will we ever see the Korsha model again? Yeah. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. It's been a while since I have become that brain damaged. Uh, no. It would be this. Chad, I did it! I launched the game! Before you forget, Song of Horror chapters 3 and 4 are done. Fuck the slideshow puzzle! I love watching the slideshow puzzle. Mind break, people. It's my favorite. Four hours later. Hey, to be fair, I started stream like half an hour late. So, you know? <laughs> of course, she's my Kami Yoshi. Oh, it's not working. Why isn't it working? That's so weird. That's so weird. Okay, Nim. <laughs> when I click off of the game, it works on stream. But when I click onto the game window, it stops working. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Video game! Ooh! Happening! Do I have any options I need to change? Auto save. It says it's on, so that should be fine. Vibration should be on, right? It's off! On. Steering wheel controls. What the fuck? Fishing rod control? Shake the controller to use it as a rod during the fishing mini- HELL YEAH! How oh. Oh, I can't have vibration and fishing controls on? That's gay! Shake the controller to avoid enemy attacks. Shake the controller to dodge enemy attacks. What the fuck? Okay, so I can't have any of these extra features on if I have vibration on. So we're just gonna vibrate. We're just gonna vibrate. You like how the main character is essentially me. Wait, what do you mean by this? I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> do I want to cancel my changes? No. Select. On. Exit? Uh, uh, do I want to keep? Yes. Okay, that was weird. Controller setting? Okay, this is fine. Do I want to cancel my changes? Yes, because I didn't change anything. Aim, camera, sound. Sound is probably fine. How's the sound for you guys? Did I plug in the steering wheel for this game? No, I don't have a steering wheel! Please stop vibrating on Twitch. <laughs> Sound is perfect? Okay, perfect. Uh, I guess we could exit this. Do I wish to save them? Yes. New game. New game. Shaky, shaky! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, sweet the sound. I don't remember the rest of the words to this song. <laughs> Is this completely blind? Yes. I know nothing about this game. I want to hear another story. Uh, oh god. Yes. The fire oh. sounds even more like mouth noises in the emulated version for some reason. Time for this, so. How about a special one? Have I this seen Twin Peaks? No, I do not know what Twin Peaks even is, but people mentioned that a lot when I first played it. Nasty, uh, but somewhat nostalgic. Do you think you can be a good girl and listen all the way to the end? Is it a scary I story? I can be a good girl. It might be, but it's also a very uh, important story. If you don't want to hear it, I can tell you a different story. No, I want to hear it. <laughs> 
This way, I won't be scared. Will you turn on Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Leave the sound down. I don't know. Funny to me that pirates and what big corpus would call undesirables are better supported and are more accountable than they are. Now, listen. What the heck? This thing a bang a bang a bang a thank you for the two dollars. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. What the fuck was that? All right, we're back with the with the crowd noises. Game is a bit too loud. Do I have audio settings in game anymore, or is that only in the main menu? Uh, Trading card, profiling, options. <laughs> that kid just bwonged! Alright. Is that- is that better? Is that- is that better? Okay, okay. Alright, they- they snapped out of it when I touched the TV, so I didn't get to touch this thing last time. Take item. I got a trading card. It would be even better if I lowered them all by exactly one. <laughs> the kids aren't actually speaking gibberish. I mean, it sounds kind of like... It sounds kind of like uh, Missy Elliott's song, where she where she has like the words reversed. That's what it sounds like. A doll shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it, which reads Washington State. Washington State is spooky. Strange clock is ticking away, though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. I'm getting no vacations. Can I touch the spooky? Red leaves fluttering in the air, a chandelier hanging from above. Can this riddle be solved, Zach? I like riddle! A white screen. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It's about time to get started. Zach. What? Zach. Can you hear me? What? It's me, York. Peppermint Patty. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Answer. Ah, good. I thought you went to sleep. Zach, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zach? Oogie. Is this gonna be like Murdered Soul Suspect, but I'm alive instead of dead? Sure, that's one way of looking at it. But it's totally wrong. Na 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 
na na na na na na Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Spooky. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. I didn't even realize they were talking about a gay couple the last time I watched well, this. in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? Hello? Jack, I can't believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well, I'll be happy. <laughs> Tom and Jerry is my favorite gay couple. <laughs> right, Zach? The perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? What the fuck? Crazy. I now have a scar to show off. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? Why'd he talk to himself, though? Because he's, he's Zach, isn't he? Hold on. I know what you did last summer. I hear the monkey noises now, chat! <laughs> Maybe hit the brake? It's slippery! He's on the slippery slope fallacy road! <laughs> hmm. That stayed lit for a really long time while it's raining. Ooh. Zach, there goes the civilized world. What? Save. Yes. Flashlight powers! Gun. I love bush gun. Take item out. Oh. Why is there such like a fucking pronounced noise for getting out of the menu? I didn't know that was the storage symbol, but now I know. I assumed that was I could pick up a gun. Does the fire hurt me? Oh, it does. Okay. Fire is painful in this universe. Pick up an army medal. Agent honor. I am actually a glowy? Observe. Hey, Zach. There's a path up ahead in the headlights. Must be years since I last set foot on a dirt, dirt path. Does the fire hurt? What do you mean, chat? In some games, the fire isn't painful. Man, these fucking, like, Jenga-esque graphics make me think of Xenosaga so fucking hard. There's a portion of Xenosaga where you're also in the woods when you're inside Momo's memories. And I spent so many hours grinding there to get to an acceptable place for when I got out of her subconscious. Do -do 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 fence. Equip weapon and draw it with L1. Draw weapon and aim with R. Game says L1. Kirsha hits R1.
I don't... Burp, burp, burp. I don't understand how to aim. Beep. Okay, yeah, I don't- I don't know how to aim. It said R, but none of the buttons that R and R work. Like, I take it out, and then, like, the right joystick just moves my camera? And- and the R1 does nothing? And then the L R2 does nothing? I, I- I pushed the stick. Look, the stick does nothing, too. Stick does nothing. I'm clicking it. That was a fucking sentence. If I said that out loud 50 years ago, I would have been committed. Wait, what do you mean? The- the buttons. They do nothing. Am I too close to the fence to aim? Okay. Did I load the profile? So is R2 is supposed to be locked on. Oh. Oh, those are the- these are the only buttons. So it doesn't- it doesn't even mention aiming. It doesn't even mention aiming, chat! How long out in the rain until you catch pneumonia and perish? Well, um, pixels, so I can't. Just lock on, you guess? Uh, but that doesn't work either. Can't lock on to nothing? Oh yeah, maybe- maybe I need, like... I don't know, maybe I- maybe I need, like, a... A- th a thing. Like a... Like a... A... A target. The holding it doesn't work, either. There's nothing to shoot here. Can I use my- my knife on the fence? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What the fuck? I'll get it, chat! I'll get it! Don't worry about it! I'll figure it out! I am smart? It asked me to take out my gun, so like, maybe there's something it wants me to shoot? Oh god, my ear's itchy. Oh god, my ear's itchy. Hold on. Hold on. She needs her zoomer markers! <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hair tickling my ear. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna turn off my flashlight. Well, I don't see anything that it would want me to shoot over here. And I can't. I can't jump. I can't jump. It asked me to take out my gun. I feel like it's gotta be the knife, though, right? Like, you wouldn't- you wouldn't gun fence. You wouldn't gun fence, and it doesn't let me shoot the gun. I tried... I can't- I can't shoot the gun. I can't shoot the gun. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure it out. My brain is large, and I used to only play PlayStation 2 games. So I can figure this out. I'm not- oh, oh, oh! Smells like Douglas fur. Good building material. Doesn't look like anyone's been taking care of them, though. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, chat, I'm finding clues! What is this? Steel pipe. Take item. 
I got a steel pipe. I forgot that this was here. For some reason, for some reason, even though I know that I can save in the menu, for some reason I saw that like little glowy circle thing and my brain just instinctively went, oh yeah, that's a save point. I don't need to touch that. Holy shit. <laughs> Observe. Tough luck. Have to leave you here, old buddy. How long are we together? A stroke? Ever since I joined the bureau. Okay. Alright. So maybe I can use pipe coon on the fence. Pipe coon. <laughs> No, I cannot use the pipe on the fence. Cannot use the pipe on the fence. I walked past the gun again? It's just a it's just a storage container. It's not a gun. It's just a it's just a storage container. I try I thought it was a gun. I thought it was a gun, but there's there's no gun. There's no gun here. There's no gun here. Can I... can I pipe this fence? No. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Gun was a social construct! I'm gonna figure this out, chat. I can do it. I believe in myself. Alright, I walked around and I found stuff that I could hit triangle on and observe. So maybe, maybe it wants me to do more than that? I need to use the pipe to fix the car. That makes sense. I feel like I should just be able to fucking get through the fence, but mm, mm, Bushes are out of bounds. There's not anywhere else to go. Can I just start, like, trying to steal pipe stuff? Aim steal pipe and hit the fence? I tried hit fence. I can't. I can't hit the fence. I need to aim with it. I can't. R1 does nothing. R2 does nothing. Pressing right stick does nothing. I can't aim. It doesn't work. Try the L buttons. Oh, why did it say R? Why did it say R if L is actually the aim button? I'm angry! I'm angry at fences! Oh, I'm angry at fences! I'm gonna beat my car to death! I'm gonna beat the fucking car! I attack so fucking slow! I would do this to my wife if she was here! Why didn't I just press all the buttons instead of giving up? <laughs> I don't know! I was doing what the game told me to do! Hello. Take item. Chad, it's a real package of bandages! I really like how that's modeled. I really like how that's modeled. Okay, I take out pipe, I aim pipe with the same button, and R1 is attack. I get honor for beating fences? I'm not getting any more honor. How come, how come 
how come the one fence gave me honor, but the other ones didn't? Take that, fence sitter! Tim Pool! I'm coming for your fence! <laughs> Start profiling. <laughs> That's racist. The fuck is happening? Looks like we're being welcomed. Zach, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. Actual schizo? I have keys! Which? I hear dog. I hear dog. That way. I'm gonna go this way. Because there seems to be a wall here telling me I can't go too far this way. Does the wall hurt me? <laughs> can't see much through this fog. The path might be blocked from the rain. We should stay away from obvious danger. Well, I guess it doesn't let me get close to it. I can't get close to the ominous red liquid vine wall. <gasps> Look at all the spooky mist on the ground! Ah, Look at all the fog, chat! There's lots of fog! Spooky! Why are you guys saying fog with a question mark? What else would it fucking be? Ghost cum? Like, of course that's fog! If it turns out to be ghost come, I'll be very upset, chat. There's bear can I beat the barrels? Hold on. Okay, the steel pipe does not do damage to the barrels. How come? Oh, oh, it's a it's a stamina bar that fills up instead of depletes. I understand. Awoo. I hear the awoo. The Borm King is getting louder. Why did dog become rooster? Oh. Someone got sick of its barking. I see. I see. Ow, ow, ow. See, the dog says he's hurt. So much for my hopes for a peaceful picnic. Do me a favor and stay sharp, Zack. The doggo had his ribs aided? I feel like whatever I'm about to encounter, I shouldn't use steel pipe, I should use gun. She walks slow. How did she catch the dog if she walks so slow? Is my question. Cause like, the dog would see her and the dog would just fucking skid her away. So how did she catch the dog? Skilky, thank you for the 500 biddies. I was deep in thought. <laughs> the dog needs to nip at the titty. I'm sorry, what? Can I like just go past this house? Yeah, there's stuff in there, but like... What if I just... What if I just don't? You know? What's this? An old sign. I can make out... Green Veil. Not to be confused with Silver Veil. It looks like we're headed down this road, Zack. Inside house. 
gun. What? I got the spooky pickles! Spooky pickles! <laughs> Doesn't look like anyone lives here. No reclusive, hairy brutes to greet us. He was looking forward to big bara men? Okay, the same same text. A gem raber? It looks like the power grid is controlled from this cabin. Chances are we'll find a generator or something here. Okay, all right. All right, they've they have broken my immersion a little bit here because there's literally an item next to this that says generator E8000. And instead of noticing and observing the blood puddle on the floor, he was just like, oh, this is machinery, man. I was like, if he was really such a great detective, why would he not observe the blood puddle instead of the weird machinery next to the thing that literally says generator? I was like, he's not perceiving. A control panel for the power grid. This should give us the electricity we need. Not an expert opinion, though. That's true. You should always say when you're not an expert. Beep! He's got Minecraft on his jacket. Hello, lady. I'm not a dog. You don't have to kill me. Do I have to shoot her? Because that's going to be hard. I'm not prepared. Hello! Oh, this music kind of fucking slaps, though. You got mysterious chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, the equip weapon and draw it with L1. Draw weapon and aim with R. See? Chat! Chat! It said R! She doesn't look too mysterious. I can't tell if the way the audio design is- I'm glad it's paused right here so I can rant while she's doing her little- weird, weird little jazz hands dance at me. But like, the way the audio is done, it sounds like there's something else that's not her that is also making pornographic zombie noises to my left. Jaw weapon and lock on with R2? How the fuck? Oh god, she's moving. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's more of them outside now. The zombies they got called here by the LM Trim City. Well, I thought I had infinite bullets, but I guess the infinity sign means infinite gun, not infinite bullets. So I'm going to go to the steel pipe. Okay, I'm going to use that. Can I take the shovel? What the fuck was that noise? Okay, so there's a fat one over there. Sounds like there's one over here. I seize it? I seize it? <laughs> what does he mean by I saw you? Is this lit- I was making the joke about I know what you did last summer, but are these ghosts taunting me? Saying they saw what I did? What child? I haven't killed a child yet. I'm sure I will kill a child, but it hasn't happened yet. Beep, beep, beep. Dude, steel pipe is OP! How come it took three bullets to kill that woman, but it only takes one steel pipe hit to kill these other people? Uh, 
All right. Observe. Power's back. Bless civilization and automated doors. Come on, let's get moving, Zach. What does he mean by this? Because if he wasn't able to turn the power on, like if the power wasn't working, he wouldn't be able to open this automatic door. And why is there a door like this in the first place over here? What are they trying to keep contained inside this enclosure that they need to have a door that's powered by electricity covered in fencing? I feel like he's focusing on the wrong things here. Chat, I have no idea what this profiling mechanic is, why it's happening, what triggers it, or what I'm supposed to be figuring out with it. Been through a lot of crazy situations. They did, they did a very poor job of explaining whatever the fuck that was. It's the first time I've been attacked so directly. By a ghost or just in general? Because you, you have scars on your face, so it's not the first time you've been attacked directly. Never mind, don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zach? Can I answer my phone? He could have fallen? No, he said it was from fucking arresting Catwoman! And that she had razor blades in her fingernails! Oh! I thought it was my cell phone, but it's a pay phone! I should report to headquarters and give them an update. Oh! Okay. Moshimosh, penis this. Get my save point here. <gasps> it's a chupa chup! Why do they have chupa chup specifically? I like chupa chup. They're very good. They're not my favorite. I like I like the giant blow pops more than the chupa chup, but the chupa chups are still pretty good. Wait, there's still something here. <gasps> Two chupa chup! Pop. That's, that's... This game is a 10 out of 10. I can pick up lollipops. Yeah! Help! Chat, you guys keep saying this is Twin Peaks. I don't know what the fuck Twin Peaks is. I'm a V-Chupa. The fog is getting thick. Oh my god, my lady! Body wants. I don't want to shoot her in the ass. No! I should take up my pipe again. Pipe is the superior weapon. Why do all game that have gun... Why is that blue again? Can I run? Is there ability... Can I run? Is running a thing? Running does not seem to be a thing. Love the lollipop swamp. I never want to leave Candyland. Fuck you guys who said shoots and ladders was better. What kind of asshole tries to ruin a playthrough of a game by trying to spoil the whole thing by bringing up a different inferior piece of media? Well, it's a good thing I don't know anything about the inferior piece of media because it won't spoil anything for me. Infinite pimples. That mean if I turn around, is the is the chupa chup gonna be back? I wish I could run though, dude. I don't want to leave. Stop grabbing lollipops, it's bad for your blood sugar. I have a bunch of blue raspberry blow pops. They're not the giant ones, so they don't make me as happy, but I still like them. Oh my god, I don't even have to walk that far! They repopulate! 
Oh my god. How many can I hold? What's my what's my backpack limit on lollipop? Ah! We're lolly looping. <laughs> How many can I hold? How do I check my inventory? How do I? How do I? First aid kit. Would it be in here? Are lollipops first aid? Uh, three out of eight? I can carry 20 lollipops! Let's fucking go! Okay, so nine? Ten? Eleven? That's a good question. Is it one slot or can I have like 300? 12? 13? 14? Fifteen? Sixteen? Seventeen? Insert the lollipop song. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop. Ba do do do. I forgot my number. <laughs> I was trying to only count because I knew if I said anything else, I would forget where I was. I think I needed three more. So now it's one more, and this should be twenty. Okay, and then menu. And then first aid kit. Lollipop, 20 out of 20. Okay, so I pick up one more and then see if it goes in a different slot. You can't keep this item anymore. You should clean up your inventory. Okay, well that answers that. I'm gonna save. Ring, ring. Close the fucking tabs, you psychopath. Fuck you! The tabs are my power! So she goes all the way back to the pickles come back. The pickles didn't look like they were respawning because I did walk away from them a bunch. I wish I could run, chat. My pockets are just stuffed with candy! I'm the candy man! I love lollipop. Can I break? The box with the pipe. <gasps> I can! I broke the box! <laughs> bing, bing. Okay, one box gave me experience, but the other box did not. Observe. Another green veil sign. And then I got the left path and the right path. This one looks like a dead end, so let's go this way first. <gasps> There's a lady. Oh, Goopy! Goopy! Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> my pipe is dead. Chat, my pipe died. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> beep! Beep! <laughs> no. I love when things die in this game! <laughs> oh, it makes really gross, like, mac and cheese noises. I wish I could punch shit. Looks like I can move this. It's up to you, Zach. Wait, what? Well, there's something over there. Why would I want to move the boxes, though? What would that do? What would moving the boxes do? Oh, I gotta hold the push button? Oh 
Oh no, I can't. I can't stop pushing. Okay, there we go. I don't... I don't understand what the point of that was. It would make the box in a different position from its original position. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Recreational box pushing. Yeah, but like... Why? <laughs> it's not like there were items behind the boxes. Okay. Alright, I thought this would be a dead end, and I guess it still is, but it's a bit longer of a dead end than I was expecting. Oh, wait, no, it keeps going. Maybe the other way was the dead end? I don't know, I'll have to look. Hello, lady! <laughs> no! I could I could have done the voicing for this game. <laughs> this game is spooky, is it? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Break that one too. Fuck you, box. <laughs> now, I feel like I have to go back the other way though, because, like, I don't know. That other way is probably a dead end, isn't it? Because, like, if this one's the right way to go and it's making me, like, destroy stuff to go down a path, the other way is probably a dead end with items. That's usually how these games work. And so, usually, I'm gonna, pu I'm gonna push this fucking box. Fuck you, you dumb whore. <laughs> Thank you. What? If the boxes have a chance of having experience in them, I should break all of the boxes I find. Always break the box, chat! If you beat up the box well enough, you may even get a prize. <laughs> ah, yes, he is right. Oh, he's got a, he's got a weapon. Your weapon don't mean shit. I like, I like how this guy. Well, he doesn't want to die. I like how his battle cry was CONSUME! And then when I killed him, he went <laughs> Very, very interesting set of noises. <laughs> what? Hello, General Raber. Generator might give us the power we need. Boop. I'm a little confused though. I mean, I guess maybe there's another electric door I have to open. But like, the spooky stuff was triggered by me turning the lights on last time. 
But this time the spooky stuff was here before the lights were on. He was an undercover pterodactyl. What was that? What was what? Look at it. Look at this. What is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I just realized that like... I thought there were just giant rocks around me. But they're not rocks because they have grass texture. <laughs> whoever, whoever was designing the immediate vicinity here made the ground so sharp it looks like rocks. <laughs> They did their best, okay? Oh god, it's just funny. <laughs> okay, we're we're into new territory now. You can hear my sloshy footprints in the fog. Hello lady. Hello, lady. I stab. Oh, you're still alive! Oh! Oh, what is this? Oh, get it off! Get it off! I'm wiggling! I'm wiggling! Oh, ah, 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 ah! What is this? What is this? What is this? Wiggle! Get, get it off! She took so much of my HP! It broke! It broke my overlay! Okay, she's dead now. She, she's dead now. I took so much HP. I got moved to toolbox. How do I use? How how do how do I? Don't grab my dick while you're dying, you dumb whore. Item. Ban bandage. Use. Yeah. Okay. That one was weird. It took three knife slashes instead of two. This game literally turned back time. If I could turn back time. Mana, ma. I don't remember the words. Beep. <laughs> 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 Bip, bip. <laughs> Push. <laughs> yeah. You like how the FBI awards points for killing? I like how the FBI awards points for breaking boxes. Oh, I hear something. Break the box! Break the box! You're gonna get attacked! Why won't that one break? Why won't that one break? Hello! Oh! Oh, you are! Oh no! I wasted a knife slash on the box! Well, that was a zesty noise. What the fuck? Oh, do I have Pipu? Pipu! Doesn't look like anyone lives here. Why does he keep thinking about big bara men? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright. Okay. Take item out. Gimme. Gimme. Oh, <gasps> so that first box might have had something in it. It's like the Pokemon Paputa in the first series of games where you could take out a potion from your Paputa, but most people didn't know that. And then they stopped doing it because they're dumb and they hate, they hate us. Okay, well, I'm going to touch this, but I feel like it's probably not going to work. This generator looks really bad, Zach. I think the killer really has a grudge against it. Why would-
that be your first thought? Why would you think that the killer has a grudge against the generator specifically and not that, like, I don't know, maybe they don't like light? Oh, there's an axe in it. I didn't even see the axe. I just assumed all of the things were from, like, fucking spooky ghost clawing like the dog died. Oh, he said the same thing again? You got machine broomkin by an axe. I got three keys! It's time to giga profile! <laughs> Profiling over. <gasps> Let's try to find a way to fix this mess. Hold on, wait a minute. Deadly premonition for the first time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. <laughs> Why? Why did I have to take the image of the ghost zombie woman and the axe in the machine and smoosh them together in my autism mind palace just to get to? You know what? Let's forget about the ghost woman and the axe and just like, let's, let's just figure out a way to fix this machine. <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense! <laughs> you miss hearing slaves? Oh my god. Is this game talking about my life? I mean, it might be. <laughs> let's be real. I hope your stream was good, Tick Tick Dude. What were you playing? Me, me, me. Fuck another fuse puzzle! No, no, I hate fuse puzzles. Why are they like this? As you lane, world of warships, a bit of this and that. Hell yeah! I love me some as you lane. I don't love me blinking lights. <gasps> Bye. See chat, Sunday is for genocides. Today I'm genociding the boxes. <laughs> have I beat 13-4 hard yet? Yeah, I have all of the uh, the main map um, uh, stages cleared. I got all of it cleared, did it? There's a box in here. They're in a little box corral. Mm -hmm. Total box death! What about 15? Not out yet! I know, 14. I am way behind on my uh, hard modes though. Hell yeah. I think the last hard mode I did was like 12-4. I just haven't gone forward with the hard modes. Is there a hard mode past World 12? I don't even know if they did one. 13 hard just came out. Yeah, I have not gone past 12-4. TBD. You don't want to get that confused with like total bag death, you know? We have a friend who's a bag. <laughs> what the fuck? I love PlayStation 2 games. <laughs> I have no idea what stage is to farm for gear? Um, I guess it would depend on what you need. I typically just farm 12-4 for money. Uh, I do 12-1 if I'm leveling ships and also trying to get experience for uh, grinding PR ships. Locked with a padlock. I should be able to break this if I could hit it hard enough. I've got just the thing for that! Still pipe! <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Open. No. You 
can't you can't do that. Bat. No, actually I killed you, dear madam. Am I proud of myself? All of a VTubing company is playing Class of 09? Has it has it gone that far through fucking phase at this point? I am glad that I could poison everyone into playing that game. <laughs> I am the best marketing that Class of 09 has ever had. And I will never be thanked for it. <laughs> Dizzy's playing tonight. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. More Bara men desires from our protagonist. Understandable, sir. I'm going to turn this on and I bet something's going to happen. It looks like something... Or looks like nothing is broken. Since it's the same model, I think I can fix it. He's a fixer. <laughs> Boop! NASA even played it? There's no way! There's no way she played Class of 09! <clears throat> I made Pippa laugh, made Lumi confused, traumatized Tenma. Oh no. I felt bad seeing Tenma's reaction. <clears throat> I felt I felt really bad seeing Tenma's reaction to Class of 09. The power in the area should be much more stable now. Let's hurry ahead, Zach. What? What are these sound effects? I killed Leah, she couldn't even play it. Wait, why? <laughs> why couldn't she play it? Ten was too pure. Oh my god. She wasn't used to how cruel the US schools are. Oh my god. Class of 09 is really a China-esque move. You can't prove we originated it, and you have no power over us anyways. The damage is not our fault. I mean... I- I state that I originated it. NASA ain't played 09. Someone was spreading fake news in my chat. Oh my god. Oh no, she's actually playing it. What do you mean? What do you mean? I- I am proud about my spreading the 09 virus. Leah has it scheduled, but she's not feeling well. But she'll get to it eventually. Oh no. Someone's lying on the internet! Who would do that? Hello, Rain. I like how... Look at this fucking action shot of my metal pipe, dude. I'm gonna pipe this dumb bitch. Uh, they didn't make an after-death noise. How disappointing. A fatty! Fatty, fatty, fatty. <laughs> Didn't even let that dumb whore turn around! Kirsch's cheese curse once again strikes Leah. I did not feed that woman cheese! Oh, it's a flagpole. I went through the door. <laughs> Oh, he moved fast! My pipe is dead! I'll have to knife the wife instead. Beep! Beep! Can I ask why the steel pipe does more damage than the knife? I mean, like, I get that one is, like, blunt damage and one is, like, slash damage, but, like... I don't know, I feel, I feel like, uh... Ooh, he's got a shovel! Dude, the gun is like the weakest fucking weapon! Look at how many fucking bullets it took me! I was hoping it would give me their weapons because I'm running out of my ability to fight. I'm, I'm running out of everything. And I don't know where to get more weapons from. It's a red thing over there. Isn't handgun unlimited? No. 
handgun is unlimited, but... Oh god, that's just... that's just ammo. Handgun is unlimited, but ammo isn't unlimited. And my knife is about to break. And there's a lot of guys here. There's a lot of guys here. So I'm just gonna have to calmly walk past all of them. Like I'm playing a Resident Evil game. I'll just, just calmly... Calmly go forward. Kirsha, the gun is unlimited. Chat. Chat, I started with 16 bullets and I have one left. What do you mean? I, mean, I guess I could use my one bullet and see if it just like auto replenishes. Okay, it do auto replenish. You are correct. You are correct. I was really worried. I'm gonna go back and kill all of these dumb nerds then. I want to hear them suffer. Is there an infinity symbol? Yeah, I was confused about that as well, because I originally I thought that it meant I had infinity ammo. Originally I thought that it meant I had infinity ammo. But yes. Oh god, you're you're coming closer. Okay, and then I wanna I wanna touch your head. Oh god, you 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 fucking I don't want to die. Oh, he is dead. And then this one's stuck in a barrel? This one's stuck in a barrel? You know what we say about that, chat? It's like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> it's <laughs> We need a bonk for you like Bagman has. That's true. That's true. Is this just infinitely spawning shovel man? What is this? Oh man, look at his hips. They don't lie. He's a Shakira. Beep. <gasps> what is this? What is it? 10 millimeter auto bullets? What? Chat, if my ammo's infinite, why did I pick up bullets? What is happening? Beep, beep, beep. Like, don't want to die. Don't want to die. There are other guns that have limited ammo, but they're more powerful. Oh, I see. <laughs> I got more bullets. Surprise, motherfucker! Why do some of them take so many bullets? Oh, I have a button for reload. <laughs> I'm hoping one of them will drop me a fucking pipe again. Why is Kier how she is? What do you mean? Probably standing on a trigger point for them to spawn. Yeah. Ooh, I 
I get rewards for headshots? <laughs> oh god. Yay! No! Yeah! No! Yay! <laughs> No, 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 I need the item! <laughs> double! 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 Give me the... Whoop! 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 <laughs> Chad, I can't pick up the items! Chad, I can't pick them up! Take item. You can't keep this in your inventory anymore. Oh, no! Okay, everything's fine. <laughs> I guess I I shouldn't stand there and keep farming experience. <laughs> She's full of ten medium, medium, medium. Wake up! Hi, hello. I didn't wiggle it fast enough. Oh my god, it plays like a Seinfeld noise when you die! What the fuck?! <laughs> oh no, chat. Oh no, chat, I have to do all of my farming. <laughs> All right, well now... Beep beep! Beep beep! Beep! Did I lose the ammo? I did, but that's okay, because I can regain the ammo. And I, it looks like I can only hold, like, four or five cartridges of it. So, yeah, cartridges of ammo, by the way. I don't like those noises. Get fucked. I think my character just said something, but I can't tell what he said. He's saying good shot? Is he praising my aiming abilities? Why... Why is this guy saying he swallows me? I don't need to know what you do in your spare time. Well, now I can... Can I step in this? Oh my god, I can. Was this here before? I don't remember the cum puddle. Juicy, fat, pale, booty mom getting spanked at work. Bruh. This is probably another spawning area, right? Because it, it doesn't look like that's disapparating. Yeah, it's another, it's another spawning puddle. So I'll, I'll kill this one. And he won't drop anything. Or I guess... She's because she's got a ponytail. Oh, did you it? Why did it make that? <gasps> ah, item! Item, 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 item. I gotta, I gotta kill you and get the item. I don't care what you want. Give me the item. Help! What the fuck is this? Is it a stroke? Oh, the item spawned in the ground. Wait, what is that? That doesn't look like bullets. First aid kit! I got the aid! Chat, this game makes me really excited. I don't know why. Is she gonna jingle? Does she drop a jingle for me? Jingle, jingle. No jingle jingle. There's a box though. I 
does it take so long to break box? I'm like a big burly man. I got experience from that box. It was worth it. What was that noise? Oh, another one is spawning. I hear you. I hear you. Oh no! Oh no, he's not glitched anymore! He's not glitched! Beep 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 Oh god. Oh god, they're so fucking fast! Oh god, they're so fucking fast! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh god! Okay. The woman? The woman? I shot her in the fucking ankle? <laughs> Get away from me. Get away. I'm fucking gaming, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's my aiming cursor? <laughs> I got it. We're nuts. We're nuts. They're done with your farming BS. I'm gonna farm them. I'm gonna farm them. Makes perfect. Yeah, exactly. The fucking Twever. He looks like a Twever. Bing. Just don't die to the quick time event again. Do I need the phone booth to save, or can I just like save in the menu? I would have been really sad if for some reason they stopped spawning there. Get fucked. Hit him in the fucking head throat. The thorax death. Why not just make a save state? Because I have to take my hands off the controller. It made the BBB! I need I need to get the item, sir. 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 Thank you. I don't want to die. Oh. Don't want to die. Don't want to die. <laughs> Bullet! Oh, my, okay, I'm full on bullet. I'm full, full bullet, full bullet. Can I save? I don't think... I don't think there's an option to save. out of here, fat man. Turn on autosave for the love of God. It was autosaving. That's why I was autosaved at the last place. Oh. Oh, it actually lets me save. Oh, in the menu. I tried turning it on in the menu. So I was like, well, I guess it's on by default because it wouldn't let me turn it on. But I guess you have to be in the actual game and out of the menu to turn on the autosave since it wouldn't let me turn on the autosave before. But now I can turn on the autosave. I hate this. Thank you, chat. I'm scared. I'm scared, chat. I don't want to. I don't want to fail the quick time event again. Wait, did it? Is it not happening this time? I thought it. Was oh yeah! yeah. Oh, 
I'm fucking nuts. I'm fucking nuts. Why did he make the an item has dropped noise? You notice more things when not reading chat. But I like reading chat. I'm really good at killing civilians begging for their lives. They're ghosts! They don't have lives! Gross, dude. Huh? You got red ivy. Thank you. <laughs> Lollipop. What time. even does that do? Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. <laughs> Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. <laughs> Instead of making slurs in his SpaghettiOs alphabet, his coffee just makes them for him. <laughs> Schizo Coffee. Also, apparently, Schizo Coffee remembering has given me the power of maps. All US Americans deserve, like, maps and such of, like, the Africas. <laughs> also, it's now 8 30 chat. <laughs> it was perfect timing to get to a save point. I'm gonna double save because I know I just saved, but I wanna be I wanna be safe. I'll be safe with the saving. <laughs> Uh, so this game is kind of fucking wonderful. <laughs> this game- this game is kind of fucking great. And I only hope the rest of the game is as wonderful as the beginning was. We'll have to play more of this on Tuesday. I don't want to stop. <laughs> that was only the tutorial. Holy shit. <laughs> You can tell because I'm making a lot of tism noises. Is that, is that what happens? When I get like really happy, I just start excessively making more noises. <laughs> I literally never got out of the tutorial. Well, I only played it for like an hour chat, okay? It was only an hour of gameplay. Squeeze <laughs> gee noises! <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Let us, let us see. I went way too late to do end slide yesterday, but I can do end slide uh, today. Today. Let's see what we got on the end slide for today. Thinking of you. What a, what a clip title. What am I thinking of? Bling. It took me 30 minutes to learn how to use the pipe. You shh. I learned eventually. <laughs> I learned- I learned how to pipe efficiently, eventually! <laughs> Have a good night, Magnum Beef! Have a good night! Oh wait, that's a good point. Is it still on scuffed speed? No, it's not. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. Wait, this is a Peeba clip. Oh, this was- oh, hold on. This is from last night. I was looking at where it said today. I was looking at where it said today. I'll play the Peeba clip anyways, but like... <laughs> Today it's 6.50 p.m. Okay. So this is today today. I'm not used to streaming past midnight unless I'm 24-7. <laughs> I saw a game that had to do with cannibalism and incest and I thought of you. That's so sweet, Gisha. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a game- I'm glad that immediately after this collab she made a waiting room for that game too. <laughs> A poopy raid seems like we'll slide right in. Please do not freeze the shit in a condom and use it as a dildo. I've read enough stories about that oh, and I don't yeah. want to hear more. Thank you. I appreciate your contributions. 
Why is it a poop stream? Proceeds to say shit eight times in a minute. Fuck you, Riz. <laughs> Enough stories means more than one. It does. Unfortunately. You really didn't have to say that. Well, that's your fault for coming in here with a poopy raid now, ain't it? <laughs> All right, peppermint waifu's a and just got a fake the peppermint waifu. Imagine coming here with a poopy raid. What is a Pippa incest tweet? If God supposedly loves me, then why didn't my parents divorce while I was young and one of them remarry into an existing family that had a slightly older boy who could be my brother and we could grow up like real siblings, but actually we're not blood related and we'd play video videos every day and he'd never have time for a girlfriend because he'd be playing games and helping each other with homework and stuff. And then God could have made him a smoker. And I could always be around to light his cigarettes. And then we'd grow up and we could live with each other forever. And people would be like, aren't you siblings? And I'd come in clutch with, no, no, we're not blood related. So sign this marriage certificate for us. Anyway, point is, I'm playing the cannibal incest game on Tuesday. <laughs> Pippa, why are you like this? I'm glad that I tickled her tism spot in the exact correct place with this game. Ima imagine her trying to feign acting offended when I told her a game about cannibalism and incest made me think of her. This, this fucking pink woman! <laughs> I can't believe this exists! <laughs> nice tweet to promote the stream. I mean, it's very accurate. It's a good promotion. <laughs> a woman, why are you like this? <laughs> I should call her on Tuesday. <laughs> Holy shit. The VOD will be dead on arrival. Somehow, our collab VOD is not dead, so, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what Fishman's thinking, but he's living dangerously now. He's chewing five gum. <laughs> it's not dead yet. Oh, I didn't mean to close my browser. We're not done with the end slide, dude. <laughs> KV, thank you for- thank you for the clip. Thank you, thank you. Novak highlighted a particularly disturbing incident that occurred at his house at a New Year's Eve party in 2019 where Manoa physically threatened to smash a person's head into my fireplace because Manoa felt a comment about skiing was racist. Manoa had to be physically restrained at this incident. Manoa got a loose brick out of the wall and the loose brick was over the guy's head, Novak said. The guy was down on the mantle in front of the fireplace and Manoa was re- It's okay, guys. It was just a regular Amber alert. I don't get the Ebony alerts. I don't live in California. Novak High- Man, sometimes my brain just does things. <laughs> that still fucking scared you. Wait, why? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the clip. <laughs> Eb Ebony alerts are something California is instituting, which instead of having black children be included in the Amber alerts, they're going to get special Ebony alerts. It's almost like the alert noise is designed to be alarming! <laughs> it doesn't work! Oh, Try the no. L buttons. Oh, why did it say R? Why did it say R if L is actually the aim button? I'm angry! I'm angry at fences! Oh, I'm angry at fences! I'm gonna beat my car to death! I'm gonna beat the fucking car! I attack so fucking slow! I would do this to my wife if she was here! Why didn't I just press all the buttons instead of giving up? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice Nim was fucking reading in the chat after that! I don't know! <laughs> I was doing what the game told me to! <laughs> Imagine not being able to play the game because I was listening to the prompts the game gave me! <laughs> it 
She hates two by fours. Really a circus. Thank you for the fucking clip. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna play- I'm gonna play one more. <laughs> the ball! The ball! Give me the- Whoop! 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 The ball! The ball! Give me the- Whoop! 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 <laughs> why am I like this? <laughs> How do- why do I do these things? <laughs> That's a very good phonetic spelling of the noise I made. I'm kind of impressed, though. <laughs> I'm kind of fucking impressed. You guys are saying new alert sound. There's the there's the clip. T W Croc, thank you, <laughs> thank you for the clip, dude. <laughs> I'm happy. It's cute. I love being happy. <laughs> hey yo, new sound alert. Jesus, because you're special. She got that whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sound of the police. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Police, open up. <laughs> How come I can make such a good whooping noise? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. What do we, what do we, what do we, um, Chad, I think I need more sleep. <laughs> I wasn't even doing anything. I wasn't even stretching. I was just like zoning out, looking at my Twitch page. I was loading noises. <laughs> sleep forever. Sleep forever. Um, well. It's been a hot heck in minutes since I have seen the Fwenwi guy. So I can wait when we man. Did her brain just crash? I forget that VTubers mostly rest on the day of our Lord Sunday. Uh, many, many religious uh, VTuber. <laughs> did her brain just crash? Yes. <laughs> yes, it did. The friendly guy is a guy I met through the Tarkov community. He's very friendly. He got partner before I did. Hey, he came around a lot while I was still grinding on partner. He's a very sweet dude. Very sweet dude. I'm pretty sure he's Australian, if I'm remembering correctly. He used to wear a super cute bucket hat. He used to be Tarkov bucket hat gaming. I like I like the bucket hat. I like the bucket hat. Friendly, you don't say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he uh, he ended up transitioning to a full-time streamer from a job that he did not like quite so much. So he's been he's been doing very well. It's been a while since I've been able to raid him. So I would like I would like everyone to uh to say to say hello and give this man some love. He's playing something called Lords of the Fallen right now. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what that is. So he's probably trying to branch out to do stuff that's not just Tarkov. And I know as a content creator who was a Terra streamer only, I know it could be kind of daunting to move out of your main game. You know, it could be kind of it could be kind of spooky. Male streamers always end up transitioning. Not like that, Skooky. He has a wife. He's got a whammons. <laughs> Are we gonna congrats on the transition? No! Do not be cursed in his chat! No cursedness! Wholesome raid messages, please. Be wholesome, wholesome, lovely people. Women are real! Yeah, there is hope for you. Tar Tarkov gamers can get waifus. <laughs> thank you, thank you, everyone, for spending time with me tonight. We're gonna we're gonna raid friendly guy after I read off your delicious names here. And I'm gonna eat some food. I'm gonna make my first stew in my new cock pot tonight. It's also probably gonna be the last thing I can cook and actually eat before I get my teeth ripped out on Wednesday. <laughs> the pickles! We can do we can do pickle or chupa choop raid. The chupa choops made me really excited. I love the chupa choop! I love the chupa choop. Thank you, thank you everyone for spending time with me tonight on this Sunday. I'm glad we got Deadly Premonition working. I'll be playing more of that on Tuesday after the regularly scheduled ranting time. So thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Three Eucalypto, Fifth Venom, Admiral Nagi, Akuma Toka, Aunt Pan 11, Andre, DLBH, 
and or Asian 185 guy backlog gamer Bytos Basicer 81 Bazzy 188 Bingo Bango Tango Mango C14 dog Cat Tuna Piano Can Tuna Piano a fucking cat you Chank Satome Chico Rex Cobalt Ogre Magus Cold Pyre Craven E Crossbone Times One Cyclops Deadly Flame 17 Death Knight RZ Devilish Boredom Disran Guy 1997 Dr. Faust MD Egg Lord Danos Ferratu Forks Furedi Gelnert Gamer Kev 3010 General 2 Awesome Goombas Hell Nico Hey I'm Luscious Honor Blin I am Binary Mind Icy Bard Iskaril J Hill 7000 J Jin Hendrix, KB9797, Kusa, Lord Sad, Lord Sad, Bro, Leo, Ultima, Lithium, Lithium Matrix. Why am I struggling to read so hard tonight? Live the Cosmic Horror, Lord Brown, Bear Lotus EX, Lunky Oaf, Malikim 14, Manta Rock 888, Mercenary 56, and 7 Crow, Nathal 801, Neo Cavalier, Nerglings, Okami Jin 25, Old Man Sam, Outen of the Empire, Painfully Averages, Payo 6091, Pop Leap Badass, Bugs Go Postal, Ragnarok 311, Rave Master J, Relia Circus the Third, Rex Draconium, Riz MX, Rob Bobson, Rob's Burt, Rub a Dub, 777 Rusted String Setzer Gamble Sideways 2013 Sir Cool 099 Six Squirrels in a Trench Coat Skooky Slin S A She Slick First Small Tank 2 Spider God 99 st Stay Ignorant st Stay in Anonymous <laughs> I wanted to say Stay Ignoramus for some reason Soda Fat 26 Swift Sword Thundering 25, Tony the Mighty, Trigger Point, Teaspoon, TW Croc, Valhunt, Zero One, Vash PP, Vorpal Hair, X Band the Man, Zenlar 1984, Ziz 39808, Zephyr 102, Zilsmer, Zara Foxu, ZX Uvbin. Thank you, thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you for spending time with my ESLS on, on this Sunday evening. <laughs> We're gonna read that friendly guy again. He was a main Tarkov content creator. He's playing some Lords of the Fallen. Please go over there and give him some love. Please, please, please. I would appreciate it. Give him all of the, the happy messages. <laughs> Can actually play games. What the fuck? <laughs> Chupa Choop! I wanna do Chupa Choop. I wanna do Chupa Choop. Lolly Lollipop raid. Manya, manya, manya. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can make emotes in my own chat. I can do it! I can do it! How do I... <laughs> There's so many other people's emotes that I have. Okay. Alright. Okay. No. No, don't turn on shield mode. No, don't. Hold on. I'm a, I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> I'm a professional. I'm a, pro I'm a professional. I did it. <laughs> Give love to this man! And have a great rest of your night, everyone. Bye-bye. Oh my days.